I'm one shot in. Shall I take another? I don't know if that's a good idea for you right now. That's probably over a shot. How many liters is this? Thirty-five percent alcohol. Here's the liters. Seven hundred and fifty meter meters me, milliliters. So seven point five liters. Yes. Oh god. It's vodka, what do you expect? Okay, I figured it out. What? Ow, ow, ow. Ow now, ground, brown cow. Ow now, filthy sow. What? Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. I don't know if you're allowed to sing that on stream. That's an old song. It still can't... will be copyrighted. I was about to say, yeah, I think they, it's still under fair use. Not fair use, uh... Words have escaped with me. This was it. Oh, I'm sad. Chat replay is no longer available for this video. Which video? A clip called the highest of highs to the lowest of low. I'm putting it in NSFW content because this is the way I'm getting fucked. Damn, it's not in fair use until uh, 2043. Copyright in a song lasts for 70 years after the end of the calendar year in which the last surviving writer dies. Yep. And the author, the writer of Singing in the Rain, Arthur Freed, um, died in 1973. Yep. Also, any song... Why are you saying before? yup as if you knew that, Sean? How much money do you think it would take to buy all the cheese in the world? More than there is in the world. More than you got, Fat Boy. 
But, uh... I don't remember words. How long do you think Wigan's going to take? Not very I long. I say 15 minutes. Well, he said he had to restart his computer, and that's why he's gone. I, st I started that Deep video back. you put. I started that video you post. What? Yeah, he's back. Yes. I started Hello. that. I started that video you posted, and yep. it just started with a scream. Yes, he was ecstatic for all of three seconds. I think I just queefed a pickle. That is an option. Yes. Something I'll never do. For a multitude of reasons. Hunter, what are you doing? Mm. Why are you hovering? Oh, okay. Why am I hovering over what? You were hovering over Cards Against Humanity for like half a second. I was hovering over a lot of things for half a second, Sean. Get off my dick. Dang. He got you. He did get you. What the heck? What? Did it work, Wigan? Uh, so far... I'll know more when I go live again. Hmm. This didn't fix. Cause it never fucking does. Oh man, I just saw a dragon get shot down. Fuck that dragon. Sounds fun. Why? Oh, are you in the tree? Yes. Uh... I am swimming to a big tree. Hunter, how's Dominion? I don't know. Okay, now it seems to be working. Nope, yep. Okay. Did you do it? Experiencing issues. Your stream quality is good. Oh. oh, I see. I think it was just confused about. Why is that bar there? That shouldn't be there. Uh, alt. Bingo. All right. So far, everything's good.
everything seems fine. Well, it's yeah. not. Alright. Now we'll see what ha happens. In. What uh, the fuck? Server is not there. Technical difficulties. Truly the yeah. raid boss here. What the fuck? I don't know. What are you playing now? I don't know. It's a fucking video game. Um, I see. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. We'll be here, buddy. Oh, there it is. It says there's only two or one of you in there. What the fuck is this? In where? In the game. Honor left to do something else. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Yeah, he's looking at other games. Oh, okay, I see. Like the promiscuous Over. jerk that he is. I mean, that's fine. Because if this ends up not working, then we can always pop this up and else. What the yeah. fuck is this game? Uh... Don't say anything. It's a cute little character. She seems so. She got a heart on her cheek. Don't uh. Don't Guys, say don't forget you can don't you can donate at donate dot don't let it die dot com. I see. There's crafting. It's a fucking game map. There's a tree with a fire on it. Fire knowledge tree. Spend FKP tokens on discoveries. Immediately unlock discoveries when you have enough tokens. On one, gold arrows indicate prerequisites before placing K FKP tokens on a discovery. You must first unlock all discoveries with a gold arrow pointing at it. <laughs> you cheered a bit. <laughs> Did Sean cheer a bit? <gasps> characters. I a Look at these I gave characters. Him Oh my god, there's a dog man. Okay. So a dog man named Nanook. Or... And there's Gronk. Gronk's a strong boy. I see. Age, there's the villain from... Re from, uh, from uh, I locked it. There's the villain from oh, okay. Deadpool 1. Okay, I unlocked it for you. There's a fish man named Dub. And a person with an egg on their head named Nerd. By the way, there's a hotkey to lock and unlock things, which is great. Okay. It's L. Um, according to this... I'm good. I'd say you're, like... Lawful evil. This is a very complicated game here. Right. You know what else would be a fun, yeah, complicated game? Broski. Actually, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess mm, what I'm listening to hasn't ended yet. Lights. This is what I mean, but I'll be right back. Oh, it ended. I'm sad now. What the fuck? Lightning strikes a nearby tree. Fire! Your group of Neanderthals must now endure Mother Nature and work together to keep the fire going long enough to learn its mysterious powers and destructive capabilities. 
You have 14 days to uncover its secrets before a massive flood drowns the valley and extinguishes humanity's one chance at becoming the apex predator and escaping extinction. <laughs> okay. Don't Let It Die is a cooperative survival game based on early humanity's struggles to cement their place at the top of the food chain. You will gather resources and food, fight deadly predators, and learn the mysteries of fire. Your task is a difficult one, no, but no matter what happens, remember, don't let it die. My arm is hurting. Don't let it die. Designed from the Have ground up to... Not using it? Three. Designed from the ground up to offer a replayable, interactive, strategic, cooperative experience for one to four players. The key to victory lies in your group's ability to adapt to the ever-present and always changing threats of prehistoric life. Should you focus on hunting and foraging to feed your starving tribe, or should you be more concerned for, with supplying the dwindling fire with more wood? Perhaps constructing a weapon or tool might ease the stress of gathering resources. These choices and more await you in what will surely be the ultimate test of survival. Or of survival. See. That sounds fun. You guys talking about don't starve? No. Look at my stream. Look die. at my look at my stream, Wigan, real quick. This is okay, the game. Complicated. Oh, hey, look, it's the rules. Oh, that's yeah. the rule book down here. Up, you mean up there on the wall? Well, the rule book down here oh, I see, I see. is also up there. But that's yeah. the rule book for hindrance. Where's the general rule book? Oh, here. Also, you can like pop it out to screen. Mm -hmm. 15 pages of rules, good god. Yeah. It seems like a fun game, just from listening to you describe it when I came back. I just closed it, picked on it, or picked it because I was just like, that's a game I downloaded year or like months ago and never turned on. Of course you didn't turn it on. It is not a woman. Like I could even turn that on. I know, right? I okay. drew a wizard. I drew an ace. I drew a knight. I drew a priest. I drew a princess. I drew a bull builder. I drew a builder. I drew an assassin. I drew a golem. I drew an ace. I drew a knight. I drew a wizard. I drew a farmer. I drew a Are wizard. Are you having fun, Hunter? I drew a chicken. Beautiful. The ultimate chicken. Destroy at any time to draw two cards from the deck. Worth a single gold. Is it worth a single right. gold? Oh. Yeah. So we wanna play this other game? What, oh, uh, I was just looking around while you were uh, fixing your yeah. computer. I got a stream well, message. I rebooted what the fuck? It. it seems... Oh. Uh... Mostly okay. I have to request Potato Kid, can you please not breathe that hard into the mic? Oh crap, sorry. Oh, I, I think it's my own. I didn't want to be rude, I just felt bad though. Why is Honor Shrek here? From uh, sensory overload or whatever it is. It's, misopho no, no, no. it's misophonia, I believe is what it's called. That sounds like you're saying misophony. <laughs> no, it's my, it's my misophonia it's my is also called selective sound sensitivity syndrome. It's a condition in which certain sounds trigger an outburst marked by irritation, anger, or aggression. Yeah, I noticed that one. All right. So, this is just what my stream gets to watch. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, 
Is it time for shot three? I think it's time for shot three. Bro, uh, slow down. <laughs> What's happening? It's been like 15 minutes. It's been... Dude, I took a shot half an hour, or I took the shot half an hour ago. Oh, I'm just back to was... drinking rum as I do. It was not half an hour it ago. It was definitely half an hour ago, because I took the first shot about 10 minutes before I started streaming, and, it, and I started streaming 20 minutes ago. Alright. We have been, do like, sitting here for over an hour, and we've done nothing. <laughs> I know, but that's what we're trying to alleviate. That's because everyone Apparently. wants to be difficult, you know? Well, well it's, be it's more because we were just trying to figure something out, but... Yeah. We got right, it I'm gonna grow this a little bit, and then... Okay. Wigan. Yes. Which two numbers do you want to be? Two numbers? Yes. This is I'll like... Be, uh, I'll be... Give me three, four. Alright, Hunter. What? One, two, or five and six. Five and six. Alright. This is like in an anime when the character, the main character, or one of the characters is starting to go insane and they get that weird close-up of the All right, I'm the first top monster. of the eyes. Awesome. Alright, so do we have a... Uh, where These are rules here. How do you... It's alt, right? Set up. Shuffle each of the five decks and then lay them out in the center. Uh, each player draws three cars from each uh, base, power source, and weapon. Uh, base, power source, and weapon. Yep. Uh, choose one of the players to start the game. That's you, uh, Walrus. So you will start. Yep. Each inventor, each inventor, then creates an invention by picking one of each of the the card types <laughs> and then starting from left of the monster each inventor reveals uh and draws one malfunction one uh, one malfunction card and adds it to their invention and then describe how your invention will defeat the monster it Simple feels like red After flags. We've yeah yeah it's so we get three of each how do you uh, give me draw, draw, draw. Hey, Sean, do you like what I've I done with? Do you like what I've draw. done with Shrek? I don't know. I you love it. it. I love it. He just looks like he's <laughs> looking over the table. <laughs> he's like, he's like sitting on your side. He's like, say, boss, how are we doing this? <laughs> All right, honey, you have cards now. All right, and now you, you need them too, Walrus. Oh, I do? Okay. Yes, oh, I thought Wigan... Eventually, you won't be the monster. You know what? That's a fair point. You make a fair point, Wigan. Fair okay. point. What do I got? Oh. oh my god. I see. Uh -huh. And then I go ahead and draw this boy. Oh, it's not okay, dirty. Imagine if there was a dirty version of it. Uh, well, this yeah. is the official version. This is the Yogg's cast version, so they gotta yeah. be kid-friendly. All right, let's see the monster. <clears throat> we got okay, I'm gonna kick here we go. This, which Our monster is a giant oh. monster made of ears. I read that wrong. I thought it said a giant monster made of fears, like with an. I'd F. be okay with bears. And I was like, oh my god, how do you? Okay, of ears. They're gonna be care bears. How do you beat a monster made of ears? I feel like it's Bunch kind of down. obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Just play heavy metal music and is very yeah. I don't have that though. Fire is a. <laughs> so is it base power than weapon? Yep. So yes. Well, you need one of each. Well, like so a blank powered thing. by blank. Yes. Wielding, you know, blank. blank. But yeah, it's however you want to describe it, right? Because it's your it's your invention, but it is a thing. The base is the thing, and then it's got its power source, and then the weapon it's going to use. Uh, you know what? All right, chicken butt. Uh, F to flip face down, right? Well, I I thought uh, I yeah. I thought I go first. Well, we we. 
You can lay them down. It's yeah, just don't yeah, reveal yeah. until. Oh. That's why I said face down. Oh, I draw two cards for the monster deck and choose one. Okay. Oh. Oh, yep. Let me pick this. Okay. Uh, pick which one. Um, you know what? Let's I'm gonna keep the ears one. Because this one's kind of boring. Can I not see what it is? No, you cannot. Oh. Shrek is disappointed. Shrek's going to look what it is. What is it? For? What is it, Shrek? Is it anything good? <laughs> no, donkey. Right. Donkey! Okay, so then. I will stick to what my... Here. Yep. Uh... Okay, so how? Which way are we gonna rotate? Clockwise or counterclockwise? It says from the left of you. In the rules, it goes from okay, so that's you higher. to your left. Yeah. Um, man, I feel like I am blowing some really good. And so you pick your three, and play them, and then draw from the Malfunction deck, which is this... Uh, Actually, you discard deck. your hand when you're done, apparently. Oh, do you? Yep. After all the inventors have presented their inventions, the monster decides which one will be most likely to succeed. The winning inventor is given the monster card. All other cards are discarded, and each player replenishes their hand. Oh, okay. So once again... Like uh, snake oil or uh, red flags. Okay. Uh, well, I accidentally drew, or not accidentally, intentionally I drew three more, but I didn't realize that part of the rule. So I'll just hold okay. those. And I'm assuming you know what you drew, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. So. Alright, yeah, go ahead and reveal your chest well. bitch first. Oh yeah, well yeah, you reveal your yeah. invention. So first, my invention, it's sta the Statue of Liberty's less attractive sister. Got it. She's powered, but she or she's rocket propelled. Beautiful. Right out the ass, um, and she has a slingshot that shoots tiny firecrackers. <laughs> oh, nice! You get a blank. Um, I guess I I'd draw. See. I'm, and then yes, and it's malfunctioned. Your by... invention can only move in super cool slow mo. That's not that's not a detriment. <laughs> that's that's a benefit right there. See a giant monster yeah, made more, of ears. More giant, more loudiness. Giant monster made of ears can't really move all that much. Slow mo is not going to do much. All it does is make me look cooler. See the you know it's rocket propelled. Rockets is pretty loud. Rockets are pretty loud. So just fly by, get some no. nice uh, get some nice tinnitus in there. Then you get a yeah, slingshot. Dangerous, you know. You get some a, a slingshot. Shoots tiny, uh, tiny firecrackers. Firecrackers right. not great for the ears. Turns out. So get this, and I know I'm not supposed to help you, but if you only move in super cool slow motion, it's gonna be really hard for him to hear you coming up on him, and then you're gonna be right on top of him, bunch of firecrackers. Yeah. He ain't got no eyes. He's just made of ears. You're yeah. not gonna hear you coming if you're in super Yeah, even my That's eyes like are super ears. stealth. Indeed. Look at those hands. Those hands are just ears. It, it does have a mouth though. It does have a mouth. Yeah, but it's probably an also ear. probably with ears inside. Yeah. Probably. You can't see it, but those teeth probably ears. <laughs> Shrek, what do you think? Don't Where did you get Shrek? Can you explain that? I found right. it. So, I'll go with mine now. I also right? found his lunch. Should I discard no. my card now? Uh, yeah. I'm, well, yeah. Uh, discard them into separate piles. Yeah, you, you smart. You know what you're doing. Um, I found Shrek's lunch. I have a... An Egyptian chariot. Ooh. Ooh. That is being pulled by a hundred duck-sized horses... I honestly thought horse-sized ducks would be cooler. 
Well, I didn't have Because then they're literally chocobos. I, uh, with a huge vacuum sucker. Oh, gosh. Those are pretty loud. So, Every yeah. dog's word. Uh, mortal enemy. And my <laughs> malfunction is... It's made of jam. My invention is made of jam. May I mention Only something? Only one person would dare yeah. give you the raspberry. Lone May Star. I'd like to mention What's something up? about the in your invention. It is made of mm -hmm. jam. Jam is a very gelatinous subject or uh, object that is very bad at sound or making sound. It's well, very, it, this, Actually, well, liquids the carry jam, sound a lot better than the air does. What I mean yeah. is it's it it's gelatinous, so the sound would just like absorb right into it, wouldn't make it very far. So liquids actually my, carry sound a lot better my than air Egyptian does. Egyptian chariot made of jam. John, shut up. That is being pulled by a hundred duck sized horses. So you you gonna hear me coming? Because it's going to be a really loud, thunderous squish. But once we get up on top of you with that vacuum sucker, we're going to fill you full of jam and then suck the shit out of you. Okay. You're going to get slammed into by a jam chariot being pulled by a hundred tiny horses. This chariot be jamming. That's right. Jamming so loud, so fast... You may hear us coming, but we gonna get you. We gonna run you down. The issue is that I'll hear you coming, and it'll be too loud for me to handle. It. Anyway, uh, yeah. So those those are the uh, the inventions there. Which one are you picking? Firecrackers sadly yeah. are louder than a hundred. Scientifically hours. louder than vacuum cleaners. So Wigan, Wigan, why do you have like four cards for each? Uh, I drew up. I didn't realize we were going to discard, and I had already drawn, so uh, I'm going to discard after, yeah. So yeah, the card goes to Hooner. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, I, I saw a fucking firecracker launcher, and I went, well, this one's not mine. I don't want to... I decided putting it to the side. Okay, I didn't want to look at it anyway. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that didn't work. All right, and you become the monster now. You draw two cards and decide which one to be. And the discard pile for the monster shall be hither. Why does Shrek have a banana? That's his lunch. He's his potassium. Why? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just... Why? Take this from me. Take this evil from me. Yes, thank you. Uh, draw, draw. A, a banana with a gun. Draw. Beautiful. A gun draw. draw. Right. Right. How would you fight a banana with a gun? A banana with a gun. I would well, I'll tell it. you, sir. A pirate sword. <laughs> it's got a double light. Sorry, I'm fixing Hunter's mistake. What? You didn't put the, your cards away. Wait, wait, I didn't put my what? You didn't put the cards away when you were done. The ones that were over here. What card? Your your invention. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. How do I stop this banana with a gun? Be very careful. You see those eyes right there? Those eyes, they're watching you. See they, they, they see your every move. Mm. All right, I figured it out. The perfect right, counter. So that's definitely what I'm using, and then... The perfect counter to a banana with a gun. Oh. Stop it. Wigan will go first. And then... 
That he will. All right. I'm. I got you. Well, me. I am winning this card. Well, me. So, check it. We got a whale. Right. All right. Oh shit. Indeed, they are very hungry animals. By positive mental energy. Ooh. This is a happy fucking whale. And okay. McClellan. Get this. Get this. He's got a dazzlingly bright camera flash. Some eyes you thought that were looking so good can't use them anymore. You ain't seeing shit. Now this whale is just seem, gonna eat you. You seem to have like a counter to everything here. The whale to eat it. The mental energy to not be scared of the gun and the bright camera That's flash right. to just now, blind you. Uh, there's one issue with that. What is your malfunction? Bananas function? don't have eyes. That banana my, has eyes. This th this banana has eyes. If I'm basing my mental image off of what's on the picture. <clears throat> oh shit! I see. You know what? Even better. My invention is plagued with rumors. Bro, you scared? You just my banana know does not have ears, so it cannot hear the rumors. Been through some shit. My banana. And my your ba uh, whale is what? unaffected by them because of his power. Positive energy. That's right. You know what? Okay. Doesn't care I, me out. You might know I, would, I would like to mention something. My banana does not have ears. And also, he has a gun. Why would he be scared of rumors? Rumor has it. That gun it's doesn't right. work. Mm. Oh, man. It's, it's but it's my gun. Judging it's by the bullet rumors. casings on the ground, I'm assuming the gun works. Yeah. Okay, now hear me out. You've got a banana. I've got a cube of meat. He's got a gun. I have a beam of pure hatred. He's mm. powered by existing. Mine is powered by energy bars. So it's food against food. Yes. The fight of the century. The only downside is that it's per the size of a mouse. Perfect, perfect. perfect. They're 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 perfect size for each other. <laughs> Honestly, it's a fair fight. It's a fair fight. I was gonna say it I mean it makes you harder to shoot too. Yeah, exactly. So are we going off of We're who would win? No, yes. Which target. one of our inventions would would defeat your banana? Is most your whale defeat your banana? Is a very easy target. You know where yeah, the whale, my whale is? Can also take bullets though. Not really. Mm? Whales bullets are, are a crazy. lot more. Bullets. Hey, hear me you out. You can't hit me with the flash, bro. Hear me out on this one though. Whales. The thing that has killed the most whales outside of. The inevitable death of time are harpoons. You know what have more penetrating power than harpoons? Here's a hint. It's a gun. Yeah, but harpoons are like it's a harpoon. Hatred. Then I drag you onto a boat and let you suffocate. It's not really okay. the harpoon. Okay. Whales. Okay, let me air. let me think Wigan. here. Let me think Wigan. here. Whales yeah, breathe air. They don't they... suffocate. Yeah, whatever. Same let, thing. let me think here. So if we're going based off of the weapon. Because this all boils down, like, the base isn't what kills, it's the weapon that's supposed to do the damage, right? Actually, for Wigan, the whale technically eating the banana would potentially kill it, but there's also the issue of, you don't digest, you don't do the banana as a whale. You know who survived a whale? Nemo. Jo Nemo. Well, actually, uh, Marlon and Dory, not Nemo. Or Milo and Dory. M Merlin Marlin. and Dory. Marlin and Dory. I am slightly out of it. Uh, In which case, the banana yeah, could easily just shot, shoot bro. the inside of the whale. You know, who also, you know who also survived it? Pinocchio. You know what has more penetrating power than a gun? Pinocchio's fucking nose when he lies. That Pinocchio Dang. killed that whale. No, he set the inside of the whale on fire. Depends on what story. Well, still, he probably killed that whale. I doubt a oh, whale really? could survive the fucking fire being set on inside of its. Yeah, but was he lives that in the water. whale powered by positive mental energy? I don't think it Probably. Was. That that whale seemed pretty happy-go-lucky to me. You see... Ooh, another spooky. thing, if he's so happy-go-lucky, he wouldn't eat a banana. He'd just go away and eat some krill, wait, as second. whales tend to do. Nah, let me, let me ask you... Let me, let me... Wait, what is this? Queef Queen. Why did... Okay, Ski. Um, let me look something up real quick. <laughs> what is Steve's? Uh, and 
not safe for work. I posted a video, uh, that one video of you accidentally loading because you got fucked. <laughs> you know what's. What? Oh, wait. Oh, I think uh... he just woke up. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. It's about 6 30 for him. I'm doing research. But on what? Is potassium poisonous to whales? <laughs> Bananas are deadliest too. You know what's <laughs> potassium chloride is a is a new way to fucking euthanize whales. Oh, is cool, it hunter? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm just trying Sustain to think cool what hunter. What? The Santa Pool Hunter. What do you mean? No, I'm being serious. Apparently there's a way to euthanize whales with potassium chloride. And you can definitely bet this banana is salty. <laughs> uh, I, uh, Not salty is my cube of meat with his beam of it's, pure it's, hatred. It's really even because the whale could just eat me. But the yes, cube but of... the issue is with the whale eating you, you can kill it from the inside because you won't yeah. actually die till you hit the stomach. I, I gotta go with Sean because his weapon is very much yeah. more directly deadly. A beam of pure hatred. And my gun could not shoot a the beam. Mouth honestly just makes me harder to hit. Yeah. Have you ever tried to... Wigan understands what it's like to try and shoot small animals with guns. No, he doesn't. I think. What? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, he tried to shoot chickens the other night in RE8 and failed heavily. Oh, oh yeah, that. Animals. Huh? I meant real animals. Oh, you've... Okay. <laughs> hey, them yeah. coyotes trying to eat his shit, man. Well, snake, but... That was yes, a good round. Good. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. I knew the cube of meat right. was gonna win. When I think of cube of meat, I think Super Meat Boy now. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. I like the banana with. You like the yeah, what? The banana with the gun. Was yeah. The, the other the other monster was fucking. What was it? I like to think it was a nerf. The other monster was a knight with a tricycle. Yeah, my other monster was an alien that exists only to hunt you. And I'm like, that's boring. That's an actual threat. We need something that's weird. Like, you have to really think about how it could hurt, harm you. That's literally just Predator. Like, like why does the banana yeah. have a gun? Does the banana know how to use a gun? Well, I have oh. to think of the possibilities here. You know? I was not used to the malfunction cards being so close. Oh, my bad. I thought those were one of the other cards because I saw because I didn't see the red card because it blended in with the background. I didn't read them, but yeah, I just noticed they were my bad when they hit my hand. <laughs> I right. didn't. I, so I thought that this was the right, last and card. Wigan draws two monster monster cardo, and then go ahead. Oh, and... is that the way it goes? I thought it would. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Draw monster card. Come to my hand. Nice. Would be nice. Hey, she just pulled out the double light. Alright. I didn't even see what cards I have. Oh. I like I win. this one. I win. How so? The entire cast of friends. Yep. <laughs> How can I kill the, Ross? The other one was a giant blank. Can we which, can we determine which of the cast of friends is the most deadly? I think uh, Ross. Ross. Ross, without a doubt. Why Ross is it Ross? Or, um, or I, Chan I is Chandler one of them? No. What, what, uh, what yeah, is Chandler is one of them? I can't remember Joey. Ross's sister's name. Oh. No, I think she, the blonde chick that's really ditzy most of the time, I think she's fairly deadly. Phoebe? 
Yeah, Phoebe. Phoebe, Monica. That's what I'm thinking of. Monica is probably the most. Monica's. Honestly. Wait, which one is Ross? I thought Ross was the one that dated Monica. Monica's his sister. I mean, Alabama exists. I gotta look this up. Time's now. relative. Friends. Uh, Ross was Monica's first kiss. The fucking Monica was not his sister. Rachel, yes, Monica is his sister. Oh, wait. Oh, I was thinking yes. Rachel. What? Okay. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston was Rachel. Monica Geller is Ross Geller's sister. Yes. Who the fuck is Monica? The brunette. I watched like five episodes of Friends. Get, get off my back. I just know who so Ross Geller is as a rival. And then to not a blonde. When did she not show a up? She oh, from the very beginning. Is she in the beginning? Okay. Yes. Who is the one that got a chicken stuck on his head? Me. Uh, that sounds like a Joey thing. I know a guy that actually had that happen to him too. Okay. Uh, but yeah. All right. Whenever you guys are ready to defeat the entire cast of Friends. I mean, that sounds pretty difficult. Okay, let me think for a second. I gotta figure out what my cards are. Um, Six grown adults. Well, that one... I'm probably gonna lose this now that I think about it. I'm just mm -hmm. relying on my weapon to carry me. Oh, the base. I gotta think of the base first. Because I did not have a good base. At all. No more drop frames. All right, we doing good. All right, nice. let's open this and drop some frames. Cause I need some tunes. It's all about that base, about that base. No frames. Blarg. I oh, could... also when I like reboot how my how much computer, bullshit I can I like... how much bullshit can I pull in this? <laughs> Are we it's doing up bullshit? To your ability. It's up to your ability. How well can you sell it? <laughs> I sell it really well. I'm just trying to think of what I can pull here. <laughs> I also remember Ross because there's an image of Ross with Nicolas Cage plastered onto his face, and it's like. How does that look even more like Ross than Ross does? And I just remember that being a thing. I mean, honestly, if you see what I have going into battle with you, you're going to have questions, admittedly, but how dangerous it is is very questionable at best. Isn't it alt? To, oh, I'm not in the game. That's why. What? Nothing. I was trying to like, like look at something closer, and. Okay. I got it. Oh, are we bringing him over there? You don't have to. You can just read it to me. I brought him over there because I felt like doing it. Okay, Sean, you go. Oh, I guess it is my turn. All right, so imagine you're Ross Geller and friends. All of a sudden, you just see an oversized chess piece okay. flying in using a flock of seagulls, Code wielding, of seagulls. and now hear me out on this one, a banana katana. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Now, the only problem is no. pretty pretty threatening, ain't it? There's just one issue. No. Just one issue. Okay, that's pretty cool. Everything my oversized chess piece does is narrated by Dave and Attenborough. I mean, that sounds that sounds really cool. I know him from. He's a narrator. 
Yeah, I know. I'm just like I know his name. I don't recognize this face. All right, I, I've got oh, mine. Oh, Blue Planet and shit like that. Oh, oh, he's that guy. Okay. Yeah, he's a British dude. David Attenborough. Yeah. And here we see a pack yeah. of wild YouTube or Twitch streamers in their natural habitat. Okay, so here's Drink. the issue with that, and I'll I'll let Hunter go in a second. Is just that like if you're being like if everything you're doing is being narrated, then you be... got no surprise attacks. No surprise. There's no. You're be he's being towed on a flock of seagulls. Of course, there's no surprise attacks. I'm just saying, like you can't be like. And then he was going, like, and then he readies his sword to swing. And they're like, all right, he's coming at us with the sword now. Like, well, is it just in his mind? I mean, it's a botanic, banana katana. You know, it's a Honestly, katana made out of a banana. I would argue that them knowing what's going to happen to them doesn't matter. I mean, have you seen any Jason Voorhees anything? They know what he's going to do, kind of. All right. Go for it, Hunter. All right. So what we got? We got a futuristic, futuristic Marcel. Marcel, the Ooh. monkey from Friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Powered by a pack of dogs. So we got the animal kingdom on my side. Being pulled by a pack of dogs. Okay. And he has a confused ray. So not I mean, only, honestly... not only is he a like he's a fucking chimp. He can tear him up. He's not Limb a from chimp. Me. Is he not a chimp? What is he? No, he's like a spider monkey. He's tiny. Marcel's little. He's just. He's a monkey. He's not a chimp. Okay, whatever. Capuchin monkey. He's a fucking monkey. He can tear him limb from limb. Mm. I would honestly argue. It's from. It's that a futuristic the confused Marcel. Confused ray wouldn't do much because they're already befuddled by a monkey. So I'm going off of. Dogs. I'm going off of Pokemon rules and hoping they attack themselves in their confusion. Not how that works. I mean, it can. It didn't. Right. Anyway. Sure. Hey, be happy I didn't pull a, a futuristic the entire cast of Friends. <laughs> that was, that's why I asked how much bullshit I can pull. You should have pulled out your trap card. Pilot Your Lincoln's pilot head. Lincoln's head in the jar. Even better, it's a. <laughs> it, they have a. They have a strategic leader, guiding I like the attack. To point out that Lincoln did not actually do anything in the Civil War outside of the Emancipation Proclamation. They have a wonderful leader to guide them through this attack. So what I'm saying is, it's Marcel hooked up to like this machine with Lincoln's head on the top, and he's being pulled by a pack I would of like dogs. to imagine that it's actually Marcel's head replaced with Lincoln in a jar. <laughs> it's Futurama rules, where you get the, like, the, uh... Yeah, yeah. You get like the, the, uh, be, the... Whatever. <laughs> it's like when, it's like when, uh, fucking Nixon took over Bender's body. Mm-hmm. And as a result was able to run for office again. Alright, so we got a chess piece... With a, a banana sword. I would like to an mention. Oversized chess piece. I'd like to mention. Yes. How does an oversized chess piece move? Like, does uh, it move it like it's on a chessboard? A uh, obviously, it's the queen, so it can move however it damn well pleases. Does oh. it say the queen? No, that's up to him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have it be the uh, horsey. It's also being moved because it's being towed by a flock of seagulls. That well, I meant, like, how, can it swing a katana? If it's being uh -huh. towed by a flock of seagulls, it swings while it's moving by the seagulls. Last time I checked, chess pieces don't have arms. Depends on the chess. But at the same time, they don't move. Unless this is wizard chess. It's wizard chess, essentially. Because I've, I've played chess boards that had, like, like, pieces that were, like, people with weapons and shit like that. So... Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to the one that's got an actual weapon. Weapon. Banana so, katana. Well, yeah. banana katana. <laughs> Would it have changed anything if I had changed it with that? <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna just see what the you pilot can. has a sword. Yes, especially if you had gotten like because you got that uh, Lincoln's head in the jar. 
Yeah. I didn't want to go... he is the pilot. Yeah. Well, see, my original plan was a futuristic, the entire cast of Friends. And so I'm like, which of yeah. them has the sword? That could either benefit me or it detriment me. It would have been Lincoln's head. Well, <laughs> I didn't plan for that in, uh, inevitability. The entire cast of Friends would have been good, though, because it would have been like... Uh, yeah, uh, but like I didn't want to pull the bullshit of, like, oh, well, I'm G... I would have argued that what can the be... younger cast what? of Friends was more agile... But then, yeah, it, it could have been. Fuck did I but, but yeah, what I was gonna yeah. do, or what I was like, didn't wanna. I didn't wanna pull like a, oh, uh, what could beat Jesus? Nothing can beat Jesus. Super Jesus. Yeah, but that's exactly what you wanna do. You gotta, you right. gotta pander to the the person, to the monster. I yeah, would have appreciated it by choosing banana katana. That's not what won it. I mean, it's what it, won it, but it's not, I didn't choose it because it's the name of the game. <laughs> I was about to say, it technically is what won it. Alright, so y'all are fighting Hungry Shell and Monks, because the other option was just a turd that threw turds. The Digimon? <laughs> eh, shit. Hungry Shell and Monks, oh my god. Okay. Uh. Oh... Accidentally drew six of you. This boss fight's really taking a what lot of What the fuck is this? It's two hungry shell and monks. No. It might be more than two. It might be an army, oh honestly. Oh my god. What the okay, fuck I is this? this? I, I won. Unless... What the fuck is... What is this knockoff, like... What were those things you call, or like you bounce around in on ball? Like they they were like bouncy balls in the gym that had like a ring on them, and you'd bounce across or bounce around on them. Bouncy balls? No, like Wait, uh, like the exercise balls. They're like exercise balls, but they had like a ring on them, and you'd bounce around in them. And when you were in like yeah, school, they're called yeah, massage exercise. balls. But I yeah, swear they had. I yeah. swear there was a kids version of them that had a different yeah. name. Yeah, there there is there is. Baby bowls. Don't call them that. People. <laughs> oh no, I kind of like. Whip handle. Popper balls. Yeah. What? Uh. They're just called oh. hopper. I never yep. knew them by that name. I I don't even know what I called them, but I know for a fact I didn't call them hopper balls. How's okay? I'm assuming this is relevant somehow. He might have a blank. What? <laughs> He's trying to fill it in. Wait, what? I'm I'm ready. Oh no! I was trying to for the longest oh, time trying to figure out what one of my cards was. Oh okay. Because I didn't know what it was. That was relevant to the conversation. Oh okay. Do you have enough cards? Oh, you played some already. Okay, because I was counting your cards, and I was like, wait, you only have... Counting eight. cards is illegal in poker, Wigan. Anyway. This game's poker. goes forced, I guess. What we got... Yes. What we got... Beautiful. We got a giant, giant turtle. Nice. I don't nice know... big-ass turtle. I don't know what turtle tastes like, but Hungry Shaolin Monk's probably going to taste pretty, pretty good. good. Mm, can't taste... That's not a good... I, that's not a good... Pretty... Thing, huh? I'm fighting them with kindness. You're not gonna win. And it's horse drawn. I see. Well, also, it's a giant, giant turtle. I'm pretty sure that's pretty massive. I mean, and a bow, and a bow that shoots at snakes. I see the entire animal kingdom coming after these hungry Shaolin monks. So we got turtle style, we got horse style, we got snake style versus Shaolin monks. What we got? And or... what's wrong with it? Horse style is definitely not something they're familiar with. <laughs> style. It's toy well, snakes. Well, now they're inedible, <laughs> so... <laughs> well, now they're inedible, so there goes that detriment. They're wooden snakes. 
It's still a bow that shoots wooden snakes. I see. Except wooden snakes would not work because they cannot stay still. You don't know that. Snakes in a bottle. I don't like this malfunction. Alright. It literally malfunction. ruined my entire thing. So, so we kind of went the same direction there. Hunter, I see. I think see, I would like to mention my. I would like to mention my thought process. I completely forgot we were supposed to be fighting them, and that this isn't snake oil. Yeah. My mind was like, I "How see. do I fix the problem that they're hungry?" <laughs> so I went I with all the one. animals. And before you shame me for my choice here, you have to wait till you hear my weapon. Oh, okay. So, let me. Got start. it. We've got. We don't king shame here. An ice cream van. Beautiful. Huh? Huh? Van Halen would be proud. Boo, they're probably going to be excited to see that. Which is why. Oh, God. <laughs> cheers. Uh, David Lee Roth would be proud. Runs on a oh. festive cheer. So they're going to be super excited oh, to see this strong. ice cream van. If Fuck they up. are going to power the van. The weapon. All right. Ah. Damn, I'm... Throws buckets of lava. They're going to be ice so team. excited to see this ice cream van. And then, instead of a sweet, cold oh. treat, boom, bucket of lava. I would argue that the ice cream van would also be a really decent weapon, as would the fact that it's a horse-drawn carriage or horse-drawn turtle. And you know what? Uh, I concede. Yellow. You know what? That's that's to just let them see it coming, because the whole idea here, it's subterfuge. I, I'm trying to get them in close enough to get, boom, bucket of lava. I like how Hunter didn't even wait for me to choose my character <laughs> for him to give up. I mean, yes, I'm choosing Wigan, but... Because Ice Cream Van kills I, I, a bunch I, of monks. Yeah. Ice Cream Van with lava in it kills a bunch of monks. I'm very mad at that's understandable. We're all mad. I can't... Why don't mine ever drop in? <laughs> uh, do I want to go with a funny one, or do I want to go with an actual weapon, or an actual monster? Funny. Doesn't matter, you're the- oh yeah. Uh, you do you, man. One, two, three... One, you'd- one, you definitely don't have to fight very hard. And the other... <laughs> Fine, we'll go with the funny one. <laughs> okay. I mean, funny's fun, man. How would you fight funny my first fun. teacher? Oh, man. I'm gonna go overkill. How can you obliterate my kindergarten teacher? She was a kind, kind lady. She gave Aren't us pizza you? parties when we put yes. enough marbles in the jar. Enough marbles in... We had a we had a jar with a line at the top of it, and every time we did a good thing, or got a question, or like a, if every time the class did something good, she would put a couple marbles in the jar. And if it got we high didn't enough, have that. you did you not? Nope. You were in like the same kindergarten as me. No, I had Miss uh, Hawkins. Oh. Well. I, saw, I, I just thought, because I swear I saw other kindergartens having, like, pizza parties as well. If we did, I was not around for it. Okay, I, I guess. I, Wigan, you're not gonna have to fight very hard hilarious. to beat her. I'm pretty beat sure, her? I'm pretty I sure my, I'm pretty sure my kindergarten teacher was, like, old when I went there. And that was almost <laughs> 15 years ago. If not 15 years ago, what start. age do you start? I'm what age do you start kindergarten? This now, just so I have it. I'll wait till the end to flip it though. Hey Wigan, what age yeah. do you start kindergarten? Uh, what age? Yeah. Ooh, I uh, was. Like, how, doesn't you, does your son start kindergarten at some point soon? Uh, not next year, but probably the year after. Did you either start it when you're four or five, depending on what? I thought it was when, like, no, I thought it was no. six. It's like six or seven. Yeah, it's like six. Okay, it so it was not six or seven for me. 
Matthew was four and I was five when we started kindergarten. Well, so it... pre-K, which is a different thing. It also could be different from state to state because it is a state-regulated thing. I was in daycare for a year and then I went to. Um, oh, and then I went to kindergarten. Kindergarten start. I remember a day when my. I was being picked up by my grandmother, and I had, and I heard a kid making fun of our minivan. Age does not the minivan. Uh, in Louisiana, yeah, it's seven, dude. Seven. Yep. Seven. Wait, hold on. That's the compulsory, the compulsory school age. Oh, that's the you have to have them in school by this point, or else you're fucked. Uh, okay, so kindergarten, no, it's five. Yeah, five. Yep. Oh, so, oh. so, 13 years year. ago. He he has a late birthday, so he, he won't be going in this year, but next year. Matthew went in when he was four because of that. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Here I am. With... So. La. We got... I know. You know how you, you, you beat your teachers, right? You want to beat a teacher? You've got to suck up to them, right? So my well, invention is... You're going the exact same route I went last time, and I and you, I failed, so... I went the same route you went last time, too, except... No, you went with things that could actually injure people. I went straight food. Yep, yeah, so we've got... Short on apples, a giant peach will do the trick. My teacher I was like allergic to, to peaches. actually Princess Peach. So then... My teacher was allergic to peaches. Not only is it a giant peach, it is powered by... It walks around on weird bird legs. Giant peach with some weird bird legs. Beautiful. Are we sure it's we're not talking? pink. Are you sure we're not talking about the live action Angry Birds movie? Oh, wait, wait, we don't talk about that. What? Oh. I, dis I disconnected. I think that's oh. unfortunate. Anyway, what's the last card? The Holy Hand uh, Grenade of Antioch. Yeah. So it's it's luring you in. It's being nice oh. and sweet. Wait, well, it disconnected me too. Oh, me too. I think it just shot itself because we'll never know what the. Yep, servers crashed. Yeah, I'm seeing that in in chat. Well, I feel so bad at the delay loop. <clears throat> uh I was Mike Tyson strapped to a crane powered by the ghost of Muhammad Ali rolling in his grave. Oh, uh, never mind, I wasn't gonna win. I would for as much overkill as Wait, possible, what did you say, Sean? Mike Tyson strapped to a crane powered by the ghost of Muhammad Ali rolling in his grave. Rolling in his so you got the best boxer in the world strapped to a what? A crane. A powered cr by the best boxer in the world. Yeah, in that's... History. <laughs> the most famous boxer powered by the best boxer. I wouldn't say Mike Tyson's the most famous. Or are you saying... I mean... M the best modern, uh, the best, uh, in He's recent the best, history. Uh, what's, what's it called? Mike Tyson's the... Sean, the go best. back and open the autosave. Okay. Oh, just do games autosave in here? Yeah, I have, yep. like, three autosaves on my... Oh, okay. From, like, two times we've played Ascension. Would it be the same server name? Or is it that all different? Yeah, it's the same server name. Alright, well, let me know when it's open. It's open. Oh, okay. Yeah, My heart is beating so fast. Beautiful. Ooh. I th Are you having a heart attack? I feel like I'm gonna win. Oh, are you fighting number or sister? The... The ninth one, yeah. Yeah, the big one. All right. 
Did you get the double lightsaber yet? Yes, I did. Did you know and if you uh? I don't know what your your. I was talking to so Potato Kid. We we'll wait until you get Not yours you. first. I'll hey, the, the 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 Potato Kid. Uh, did you know if you go to uh? You know what? Honestly, that doesn't change anything because teachers don't work on weekends either. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, no, we lost again. The potato kid. Did you know if you go to uh My invention has a loud alarm. Can I can I, can I speak to the potato Sean, it. can you shut up for a second? Um Oh my god. I'm trying to have an I'm trying to have a nice conversation here and you're trying to kill my teacher in the background. Um oh, She's dead. Oh. Dang. We both killed her. She died from old age by this point. What's the what's the red planet? That's evil. Um, that you have yeah, the other one. Muted? What? Baphon? No, that's not right. I think it's called Baphon. Whatever. That pl the you start with able to go one and then to the other, or or the other. Um, if you go to the other planet first, you can get like the double lightsaber within like the first hour of the game. Oh really? Yeah. I'll take a note of that. Also, I got killed again. Anyway. Holy hand grenade of Antioch. Yeah, but we only work on the weekends. Or we don't work on the weekends, which is perfectly fine, because neither do you. Yeah, teachers don't work on weekends. <laughs> and then he's just really loud. Well, what about Saturday school? Well, teachers hate loud noises in class, so... I, got, I have to go with Sean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, the holy hand grenade of Antioch look, is pretty good. Look, 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 how's Mike Tyson gonna do anything if he's strapped to a crane? He's gonna have the crane bring him over there. Like a pro-wrestling intro. Oh, you didn't say Mike Tyson was... Teacher runs to, Sean, you didn't... always bring him there. You didn't say yeah, Mike... Yeah, no, I muted you for a little bit. You didn't say Mike Tyson was tied to the front. You just said it was Mike you, Tyson, a crane. You also, yeah, I assumed the base was Mike Tyson, and it was powered by a crane. You oh. did not read, you did not iterate that properly. The order matters. It's a crane with Mike Tyson with, that's powered by, so the crane is powered by... Is it a Muhammad crane Ali. the bird, or a crane the construction equipment? That's up to him. I'm gonna say the construction equipment because so I don't think a crane could carry my construction Tyson. equipment powered by Muhammad Ali rolling in their grave with Mike Tyson strapped to the front of it. I'm gonna say when it says strapped to the front, it's gonna be tied to the hook part of it because that actually so makes sense. He is the wrecking ball. Yeah, he is the wrecking ball. Oh my he god, is the, he has become the wrecking ball. And so, ball. so it's a, so it's a pissed off. Muhammad Ali. Oh, Muhammad Ali was the blank part. Power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And Mike Tyson's your wrecking ball. Yep. Yeah, I think you still take it, even if it's got a loud alarm blaring on it. I mean, definitely, because you just swing Mike Tyson. No, I like to think... That... Swing Mike Tyson into the walls and they just crumble. I like to the think... Teacher in okay, it. okay, listen, hear me out here. I like to think Muhammad Ali is driving the crane. Yes. Mike Basically, Tyson yeah. is on the hook of it. And then you just swing Mike Tyson in. He comes in with the punch. He's powered by the extra momentum of the swing. The teacher's just gone. The, so the I thought about it. using this weapon. A laser that takes three hours to charge. <laughs> I mean, it yeah, would the chiller. The grenade was the holy grenade of Antioch was a little powerful. The other, uh, the other weapon or the other monster was a gorilla with a narwhal I also, horn. I also had a homing red shell, which would have been decent. No, uh, no, no. Well, the homing was, red shell definitely would have killed her, unless she I had don't a know shell if you of her remember own. Remember me laughing so hard when I got my cards, but it was because of this power source. <laughs> it was powered by stream donations. <laughs> Oh, then it's <laughs> gonna die immediately. You just have to be yeah. a girl. Yeah, you just gotta be a bikini streamer. I don't think that would appeal to anyone. Uh, it didn't need to be. It appeals you to just... plenty of people, just 
Otherwise, they wouldn't exist. Exactly. Alright, so now I'm the monster, right? You are a monster. What? Look, bro, what we got here? We got... Beautiful. <laughs> you having fun there, Wigan? Oh, um, this is such a good one. Oh, but how do I pass this up? Oh my god, I, mean, I have the understand. most... I have the most metal... fucking... weapon. Alright, I... I have to go with this because I can't pass this up. It's the devil himself. But I'm gonna oh, show shit. you what my other one was. <laughs> it's a man whose ass is his face and his face is his ass. <laughs> that sounds kind of complicated. <sighs> but you're trying to be. I couldn't pass up the devil himself. Come on. That's such you're a good. Right. Like. Like, there's interesting things you can do against that. A, a guy with a, a a man with a face for his ass and an ass for his face is kind of... I mean, that it's just sounds like me. an episode of South Park. Also, no, that was an episode of South Park. Well, their face wasn't their ass, was it? They just had a butt face? I mean, yeah. The butt faces? Wasn't that their name, too? Probably. They thought Kenny Ooh. was their long-lost kid. How I bet he do died. I, um, like, I can rotate and spin and, like, zoom in and zoom out. How do I slide around the table? Does that make sense? Middle mouse. Uh, yeah, you hold it down. Uh, I gotcha. Perfect. Thank you. Or WASD. Yeah, that also works. Do not sass me like that, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't sassing shit, boy. I think I got I this talking one. Talking to you. Just talking to the guy who told me WASD. Like, lost. I'm a gamer, bro. You don't think I tried WASD already? I'm a gamer. I play Roblox. Well, oh, it works for me. I don't know why it doesn't work for you. It works for me. I just hadn't tried it oh. yet. Oh. Shrek <laughs> is still over here just enjoying his banana. Dude, I love Funky. Shrek. The only reason I don't like Shrek over there is like when I'm trying to look at cards that are in this. You see where my hand is in this area? You just I see, see him Shrek in the instead. <laughs> so like I hit alt and it's just Shrek. <laughs> Get Shrek back! He... Oh god. No, not by me. Oh, I feel so dirty. Not the no wait, I got him. I got him. Donkey. Yeah. Like, perfect. Oh, I feel so dirty. Oh, wait, he's just star staring at Sean. I th the death perception was off a bit. Yeah. All right. All right. Walrus, whenever you're ready. I'm ready. As soon as I remember. <laughs> he's moved. <laughs> like um, it. let's it see. Dirty. We've got a flying carpet. No. All no. right. And he's powered by thoughts and prayers. Truly, the greatest weapon to use against the devil himself. I the read that as yeah. I read that as thoughts and minds, and my mind was, I am the glub gub gab gub. Oh, it's a flying carpet powered by God. Got it. Or well, not Jesus. God, but people. And his weapon. People praying to God. Is toxic Jeez. gas. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. But that raises the question of what kind of toxic to whom? To which I'll reply, toxic to our boy Stain. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, it's up to you. It's your invention. Uh, it's there's just one just... issue. Uh, the pilot has the giggles and can't stop laughing. Oh, so your flying carpet is just kind of like... Is the toxic gas laughing gas? Joker's laughing uh, gas? I mean, it, it's it's up to... I mean, it's I'm gonna say toxic. no. I'm gonna just say this flying carpet randomly is proficient in knives and can't stop laughing. Mm -hmm. Is it carpet from Aladdin? Is that why it has personality? Yes. Is it powered by oh, thoughts and prayers? Which, honestly, I mean, that's a, a super strong power source. Yeah, that drawing Which definitely means... looks like something out of the Yogg's cast. Yeah, alright. 
right, let's see, where is... Now all I can think of is Beelzebub. a boss. Okay, all so right. what we got? We got a we bulldozer. Got... I nice. see. The bulldozer is powered based... Or it runs on the relentless power of heavy metal. You know what? So it's tenacious D. Fritz. <laughs> and has a gigantic sticky tongue. Okay, you should spear a bulldozer that... See, my thought process is it uses the sticky tongue to anchor sure the that devil it in... in front of it, yeah, so it can a... run it over as a bulldozer. Definitely, yes. And, I mean, obviously it will never run out of power because the devil obviously has, like, a choir of heavy metal behind him at every any given yeah, point. Yeah, he's the devil. He can do what he wants. I need to listen to Beelzebub it doesn't even, now. It doesn't even need, like, heavy metal to be in existence. It just says it runs off the relentless power of heavy metal. So just the existence of heavy metal is what is In the universe. The it The power yeah. was brought... It was brought into this world by heavy metal itself. Yes. And, the but on the, on the downside, your invention has, a, has been hit by a string crane reduced to 10% <laughs> of its normal size. But it's a tiny, tiny but I don't think <laughs> your weapon like, will work now. You don't, don't understand. <laughs> the heavy metal never ends. This bulldozer yes. will never end. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Run over his hoof? That's a good idea. <laughs> you going to get Have you hoof? have you played Binding of Isaac? You'll notice the power of small things. I have played Binding of Isaac. Yes, with... but Isaac can shoot tears. You know what your bullet can shoot? Tongue. Your bulldozer? A you, tongue. Uh, yeah. You know what my bulldozer can also do? Hit them really hard. That's true. But you know what my carpet can do? Poison him. The de yeah. it's, he's, he's a deity. Will he be killed by poison? Yes, it's because of the power him. of thoughts and prayers. That's true. Oh man, you, dude, you got screwed. I was all in on the fucking heavy metal bulldozer because I was like, Tenacious D defeated the devil again through through the power of metal and a bulldozer. And then you got and then you got shrunk to the size of a fucking Tonka truck. Why do I keep getting the fucking oh, bullshit what? malfunctions? Okay, Let's I would, see. to be What's fair, I would argue it's probably about the size of a husky. Yeah, it's probably like the size of a, like a little dog, right? Medium to large, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, like medium a, yeah. It's still dog. So it's still a fairly large bulldozer. I mean, well, not a large bulldozer, but still a fairly large weapon. It's literally yeah. just attacking... The devil himself with a metallic Rottweiler. That never stops because heavy metal will never stop. It does run on the D, though. Because I, I, in my mind, I shrunk it much smaller. On it, because ten percent. Um, I'm gonna well, retcon something real yes, quick. It would be like a Tonka truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna retcon something real quick. Uh, okay. it, this ha this benefits nothing, but, uh, Jack Black is just sitting inside the- or is just, like, controlling the bulldozer uh, with a, uh... A tiny Jack Black. <laughs> no, a tiny no, Jack Black is like... just inside the bulldozer playing heavy metal at all times. Playing Beals a boss. Average size of bulldozer. Is it the Poe version of that? Uh, uh, eight feet wide- eight and a half feet wide by... What? Dude, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, 10,000 pounds. Okay, or wait, as little as 10,000 pounds while the... Okay, how... What size bulldozer are we thinking here? Are we thinking... Would, are, we mean, th again, are we... Th it's up to you. Are we thinking a Cat 3... Or Cat C36? We look in... What the... F we look in Cat... C18. So, the largest... Oh my god, it's fucking massive. The Komatsu D575A-3SD. There's a picture of it pushing Wait, another bolt. The me. What was the name? It's a, the, so, it's Komatsu. 
I just look up largest bulldozer in the world. I did, and I got a different thing. Oh, I, I, okay. Oh, no, I got, okay, largest bulldozers. That's number two. The most powerful is the Akko. A-C-C-O Super Bulldozer. No, Akko's number no. two. On my Komatsu end, Komatsu is number one. On my end, I'm it's Akko and then Su or and then Komatsu. And on the wiki, it says, or on Wikipedia, it says, is the largest and most Akko is the largest and most powerful. Okay, it has an operating weight of about fifteen tons. Bruh. Okay, so forty give feet me long. For the doubt. Oh, it can you push about ten. nine cubic yards of mass. Wait, how how much did you say? How much did you say the uh? The uh, the so ten percent of ninety. So yeah, so your Wait. bulldozer can push nine cubic yards of mass. How much did you say the Komatsu weighed? Huh? It's Sean, go away. <clears throat> the Komatsu Operating weighs one hundred and fifty-three tons. Uh, Akko so, yeah, is one hundred. Well, Akko is one hundred and eighty-three. Metric tons, by the way, not the imperial shit that we use. The Akko is one hundred and eighty-three tons. Yeah, but this one is... And it's 40 uh, by 23 it's, by it's, 10. Yeah, this one is... Capable of generating 167 horsepower, blah, blah, blah. Is 3.6 meters high and 7.4 meters wide. Yeah, There's... why? Yeah, it's definitely the Akko. Okay. This is weird. Yeah. Because the Akko is 40 feet. The biggest, oh, well, that's meters. The most what's 10%? Yeah. What's the 10% of 183 tons? 18.3 tons. Metric tons, yeah. by the way. Which is actually close to 2.2 .2 of our empirical tons. I think. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, the the Komatsu is a more powerful one. That's why. Uh, I got, just looked the largest. Yeah, it's uh, it's got it's capable of uh, eleven hundred sixty seven horsepower, and the. Well, okay. Let's just for posterity's uh, sake. Two six seventy five horsepower engines. Okay. Let's so just say for posterity's sake that my ten percent size bulldozer is about the size of a person. Yeah, Rottweiler, it's... but well, it, uh, if it's according to th this, three point what's three point six meters? Uh, uh, let's see. A meter is a little bit over a yard. So meter. assume it's about Eight. a ten foot tall individual. Yeah. So that. Yeah, but the other one is fucking. 40 feet tall, but it, it's a lot of nothing. But there's also, like, the square cube rule, which is weird. Yeah. That's why I was going so, off of mass instead of, you know... Well, I was going off of... Because this just gives... So these two, they're very similar. They really are. One's just long and short, and the other one's short and tall. Which would actually mean, I think, that its weight would be decreased by a by 99% rather than 10 Anyway, the the Komatsu can uh, has a blade that can push ninety cubic yards of mass. But say anything about let's just weight. say it's forty thousand pounds. Whatever. That's a fucking heavy thing to be running into you constantly. Yeah, even at ten percent of the of the, but that's also the largest bulldozer. Okay, let's go that's twenty thousand pounds. Bulldozer. That's like it's. Fine, twenty thousand pounds. That's still a lot. Anything. But there's also the issue of the devil himself is also probably immune to such paltry means of destruction, whereas yeah. a carpet running on, you know, the Again, power no, of the Lord the Art himself. I'm powered. He's powered by the D. I'm powered by tenacious D. <laughs> Which, by the way, is powered by the devil himself. Yeah, they're rebelling. Yeah, Tenacious D has beaten the devil. Yeah, Tenacious on D has. <laughs> I like how we've Bested got. I like how we have construed okay, relentless all, power of heavy. Right, they gotta, defeated a demon, to... not the devil. No, they beat the devil. No, no, no. It was specifically just a random demon. 
I, did you watch the pick of destiny? Wasn't that the devil? No, no tribute was its own thing. No, 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 no. The pick of destiny watch... was the devil, but yes. tribute was not the I devil. Understand. But in pick of destiny, they bested the devil himself. By chance, I, in their journey to find a pick. Hey, hey. Uh... Yes, by anyway. chance, because the devil, some shenanigans happen, and the devil hurt himself, not the tenacious D. I've made my choice. You bitch. You ding. Speaking of, um... I have to go get uh, Spotify paused. I, will I was being cheated needed. out of that. To save their lives, Tenacious D challenges Satan. Yep. Anyway. All because they didn't feel like hear, having their boy Cage the gargle mayonnaise. Oh yeah, no, I... Listen to it. Oh yeah, you it. can hear it because of the stream. Oh no, I was watching it earlier. Oh. Oh. What the wait, hell? Wait, what happened? Oh, choose between these two. Oh. I gotta put things up. Ooh, this boss is really. Okay, before I show you what the monster was, this was the other option: an angry Frenchman. <laughs> Glass Joe. I love it. <laughs> Which honestly wouldn't take anything to defeat. I don't know. The French were pretty brutal. Have you seen Glass Joe? We don't talk about him when we're referring to fighty fights. Alright. Oh, uh, I'm not looking at these. I'm not looking at these. Oh my god. <laughs> Sean did the same thing earlier. <laughs> I only drew six, by the way. Ah, uh, same thing. Alright, y'all are fighting giraffe. A giraffe with laser eyes. A massive giraffe with laser eyes. I'm gonna say it's a planet size, at minimum mountain size. That's a big. What if it's just the neck that's big? Fine, moon giraffe. Moon. The giraffe is so the mi size of the moon. Micro planet size. What? It's a micro planet size giraffe. Yes, micro planet size giraffe. All right. Oh man, if I was playing with other Coheed fans, this would work. It would be oh. funny if it was just the neck that was long. It would be. Yeah, but... Well, I guess in space that would oh, potentially God. work. Oh, God, if I was playing... Oh, man, if I had... If y'all liked Coheed at all, this would work so well. Holy shit. I think I have one of the best weapons ever. I definitely have one of the best weapons ever. Okay. All right. Choose your fighter. Choose I your am weapon. Cutting on a power source, man. Choose your power. You know Fight. what? You know what? I got it. I got it. Beautiful. It's weird, and I'm gonna have to sell it. But I. Fucking... This entire deal is weird. I no. This is really weird. Moon-sized giraffe with laser eyes. That's weird. Yeah. But this this is gonna take some selling and some buying on your end. I see. Honor, choose your weapon. Fighter. I'm look. I'm researching. How's the game going, Potato? Um, I'm getting my ass kicked a lot. Yeah. It happens. I'm gonna say, and you should take this as a compliment. This is not at all what I expect you to sound like. Dang, what did you expect me to sound like? I don't know. I, Cause in my head you were like, it, it doesn't help that your name was The Potato Kid. So at I'm least like, he didn't imagine head, you sounded like this. You were like a, like a, like, a really little kid that was just kind of like hanging out with grown-ups. I know you're young. Probably He's a college student by the server. Is he? I thought he was high school. 
I'm middle school. Never mind. You're fucking with me, right? No. How old are you? I'm 14. I just turned 14. Oh, I did know that. Yeah, because you sound birthday. like just voice alone. You sound a lot older. I know. I have a very deep voice for my age. You I, sounded, on the other hand, I did actually, as well. I not so much, and I'm okay with that. Being a tenor is fun. Sorry, give me a second. I'm. No, you're good. Take your time, bro. But you're not gonna beat my sales pitch. I always keep getting so close to, to, Damn. winning the fight. I get sliced in half or something. All right. All right. Well. Yeah, them well, them lightsabers is dangerous, yo. Uh, it's just like at like the third phase when like I'm almost done, I get killed. I could bullshit this. Um, bullshit it, man. That's bullshit the, the shit out of this bullshit. That is the game, dude. All right, I just will bullshit sell this. It. Sell it well. Okay, that. And let me know when you've grabbed your uh, your what do you call it? Come on, I got words. Your mouth words have escaped. I'll grab mine me. after yours. Okay. I did. Okay. First of all, we got Dude, a life-size like... ship in a bottle. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Powered. It'll handle being in space. Powered by liquid dreams. Interesting. God owes you a favor. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Wait, are you are kidding me? <laughs> Alright, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your, uh, malfunction, Yeah, what's your malfunction? Buddy? Is it that God doesn't exist? Please? The pilot is allergic to everything. <laughs> Including God. Okay. I want you to imagine that the favor God grants you is to no longer be allergic to everything. <laughs> well, it's, it's his favor, uh, so... No, no, God isn't the pilot. Yeah, the no, the ship is the, the pilot. pilot. Yeah. I knew it. The life size ship is in a bottle. It's its oh, own. Gosh. It's it's its own bubble boy. I see. Oh. All right, what it. if it's allergic to ships? Because you know allergic it's allergic to, to everything. It's allergic to. Would you like to see air. what I was researching for so long? What? I was trying to figure out what the most powerful force user in the Jedi Le or in the Star Wars Legends is, and I was going to say. I was gonna say, uh, or something like, uh, Darth Ravon or Star Killer owes you a favor. Dude, Star Killer's fucking crazy. He pulled. He, he pulled I, a Star I, I Destroyer. Did that. I remember. I was there from space onto a planet. Well, well technically, it's Anakin because he has the. I, I guess. In, uh, I, I was talking Star Wars Legends. Alpi, because he literally zapped. Space. I was stuck. I was talking Star Wars Legends, though. Oh, Legends. Oh, Legends. Okay. And one of the lists I saw well, was not. Father, and I was like, that kind of makes sense, but. All right. I, All right. I don't. I can't beat that. I'm gonna do my damnedest. You do right. that. Uh, I forgot what I played, so we're gonna do this. It'll come to me as I play it, though. We got. Yeah. This. We got a blow-up cuddle doll. Right? I mean, oh, I to remember. be fair, I remember. giraffes are f notoriously gay. Okay, this okay. blow-up cuddle doll is in fact a giraffe. Okay, uh, that's canon. It's a giraffe cuddle doll. This will come into play later. Understandable. What's it powered by? It's fueled by the corpses of my vanquished enemies. Again. Well, how many how many we will come in later. The Understandable. Weapon, the Disney legal team. We're oh, suing shit. your ass for being a giant giraffe when we have our blow up cuddle doll giraffe. You can't be a giant giraffe. Sorry, dude. Game over. Uh, you better be something else. Oh, you better fuck. Figure it out. A power to rival figure the gods themselves. Figure it the Disney. fuck out. And. Uh, your invention explodes if it drops under 500. <laughs> or 50 miles per hour. 
So <laughs> all you see is the Disney legal team. <laughs> oh no! All you see is the Disney legal team running around or driving around in a car with a giraffe. You just have to get the message as they drive by every few minutes. No, bro, they're on a phone. We don't have to say anything. We're calling, sending emails, bro. We're just on. We're so. <laughs> And don't worry, don't worry. We can move quickly. We're fueled by the corpses of Disney. Disney is laid to waste many, many, many of things, including Disney himself. That is true. Disney killed Disney. I let. So what I imagined, honestly, was the blow up cuddle talk, doll. I can hear you. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I ended up imagining was the legal team just. Walking up to the giraffe, stopping, and immediately exploding at its feet. Do you think a giraffe cares about Disney's laws? It's a giraffe, to be honest. I mean, Melman the giraffe is owned by uh, DreamWorks. Yeah, DreamWorks isn't owned by Disney. Yeah, DreamWorks actively Not loves yet. Disney. Not yet. Oh god, when Disney owns Shrek, life as we know it ends. Um, Shrek is now levitating the banana. Good. I'm trying not to laugh as hard in my, as I'm trying. Dang, it didn't sound right. I'm trying not to laugh. Hearing you play that in the background makes me want to go play fucking Jedi Academy. The Padawan Academy? Fuck. Padawan Academy. Shit. I know that's like uh, probably a decade or two before your time, but God, that was a fucking good game. I, I know, I know what it is. I played it before. Oh, have you, dude? It's such a good game. You know what's, it is really what feels weird to me now? What? Seeing kids not born in the nineties. <laughs> because everyone I born mean, in the nineties is an adult. Everyone born in the nineties is, uh, is an adult now. You have a decision to make here, Sean. I have a decision, indeed. Also, speaking of, like, people not being born in the 90s, I had a, uh... This was a couple months ago. I've, I've, was Wigan was born in the ago. 80s. I was. Uh, I had, a I had, like, a, a write-up at work. It How wasn't anything, they? like, serious. It was just that I hadn't, like... Had, I wasn't able to get up to production yet. Hey, Sean, can you and, check my uh, stream real quick? <clears throat> yeah, I'm coming. What? Click? Yeah, what's up with it? Oh, I gotta, I gotta go full screen. I can't read any of that. I see. Wait, what are you doing? I think I'm really far behind. You probably are, because I don't have any text on my screen. Yeah, I... Where I was at, you were just picking your cards for this match. Oh, where I'm at, you're just staring at Shrek. Yep. Uh, I mean, who doesn't want to stare at Shrek all the time? Agreed. Anyway, so my my operations manager is, like, writing me up. And since then, I haven't gotten a single hit on uh, production. Yeah, I see it now. I refreshed. Um, <laughs> since then, okay. I haven't gotten a single hit on production, so none of that matters. But he was like... Uh, no, I died again. Like... This is it. your your issue, like, whatever. And he, like, so I have to, like, sign something and, uh, or digitally, electronically sign something. And so it pulls up, like, my information. And it's, like, confirm that this is your birthday, this is your name, type your associate number in, whatever. And, uh, he's like, oh, 89. We don't see many 80s. They don't last long in here. I was, I, was, I was talking to him, I was like, man, I know. I was just talking to him, and actually, speaking of Crinkle Puff, because I work with him. Oh, you him, work with exactly, him? Exactly. Yes. I was like, I was like, yeah, I was just talking to this dude the other day. He had, he was a fresh new hire when I was having this conversation. I was like, I was just talking to this dude, and he was like, he was like oh, yeah, I'm running a, a 150 right now. I was like, oh, that's on your curve? And he goes, no, 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 like an actual 150. I was like, how old are you? He goes, oh, I'm 18. I was like, you fucking kids. I hate you. Some, uh, at the time, I was 31. But fuck, dude. Like, I wish I had the job I had 10 years ago.
I really, I'd fucking be killing. I'd be making so much money right now. And... But I'm old and can't, like, I'd have my dream car right now. I mean, I own a house, right? But, like, yeah. I'd, I'd have so much stuff that I've always wanted if I had that job 10 years ago. Like, I honestly, I'd, I, I mean, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wish everything else in my life was the same, except that I had this job 10 years ago. That would have been a pretty cool job if you had that much money. Dude, it's it's a like there are some people there that like a, a dude just uh, quit and he moved because he went to go work on his PhD. He was 24, making like seventy thousand dollars a year or more. It's a it's an insane amount of money if you're young and your body can take it. It's ridiculous. I don't know what you do. I'm an order the filler. I work in a warehouse, and I put heavy shit on pallets. Not necessarily heavy shit, but I put shit on pallets, and it goes to stores. So, like, a grocery store. You worked at Inglis. In in Ingles? Ingles. Ingles. Um, We're dumb. Ingles. You're, so, you, you know the, the trucks y'all received that, like, stocked your merchandise? Yep. I'm the guy who put the shit on those pallets. Oh, I was the guy that took the shit off those pallets. I used to be that guy too, but I I'm the guy that puts the. So shit did I, funnily enough. And so was Waylon until he got fired. I was actually. Uh, they rehired him, didn't they? Yep. A manager for that shit when I worked in a grocery store. Like I was like I was the guy who unloaded trucks and uh, down stacked them onto carts so that the stockers could go put them on shelves. So Sean, and who then, wins? Yeah, you had a decision to make. You didn't make it yet. Uh, I'd rather be playing Guitar Hero right now. I agree with that, Potato. I 100% agree with that. You. So... Is this still the metal on repeat? <laughs> it is. I've been listening to the metal from Tenacious D <laughs> on repeat for a little while now. I... Now... Liquefied Dream powered ship whose weapon is a favor owed by God. God's an asshole. I'm going to say it outright. Yeah, but it is a favor he owed. I didn't have enough favor. You have to have a favor from God. What would you ask for? He also very seldomly outright kills people. I think he's done it twice. I have a really dark answer for you, Potato, in just a minute, whenever we're done with this. I have a very, uh, uh, I have a very dark answer for Sean, and I'm pretty sure all of human history was killed by God. You're right, it was. It's no, called the Great Mankind Flood. has free will. God quite literally flooded the earth. You're right. But, yeah, but there's been a lot more kills. A giraffe then. wouldn't be killed by a oh, flood, man, now no. would he? Yes. How the th wasn't the flood like thirty feet tall or something like that? It's a moon. It was moon sized giraffe hunter. Oh, where does it say moon? It just says massive. I said moon size. It was decided that uh, in the beginning. Oh. The only other actively large killing role God has done was the firstborns. You know, I only went to school for a little while, so I have no idea. What we're not talking, talking about. about what God has done. We're talking about the fact that He owes me a favor, and I say the favor is fucking kill the giraffe. Kill yeah. the giraffe. I mean, as much as I think the Disney legal team, like, could also like, like, I definitely win. I would if like to mention. Me you, I win. But there, was, there, I tried I, very hard to find a way I not to do that. Favor by God. Favor. You know what's funny? You could favor. make that favor by God to stop the Disney team so they explode and therefore you win automatically. I would yeah, like to I mention was, I tr I tried very, very hard to uh, no, find man. something. I told you to just cheese it, dude. That's part of the game. 
should have asked. As much as I monster. want Disney legal team to win, yeah, right. I guess that it has to go to God. It's rock paper scissors God. Why don't right. Why don't you just ask God to be God? As Jesus, I can attest God can bullshit. Uh, we're also yeah, we're also have... in a hypothetical universe where we're fighting a giant fucking gra giraffe. Where's your god right. now? I'm tired of listening to just the metal. Is there not just a Tenacious D playlist? I don't know. I'm assuming your stream can also hear this. Oh, the music? Yes. You're fighting a it's sentient house. Wigan, Wigan. We're fighting a yes. sentient house. Relive your nightmares. Oh shit, it's Come Final on. Fantasy oh, VII god. time, y'all. I forgot what's in my hands. Give me a minute. Uh, thank you, Walrus. What did I do? I know, I know you gave me a bit earlier. I'm just now seeing it in my tip jar. It's the been there little, forever, dude. I know, I know, but it's a cute little corgi head just in my cup. Yep. Uh, All right. Uh, flip, 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 flip. Shwink, shwink. I mean, this is close enough, right? No. Alright. Uh, oh, come on. Hop. Hop. I don't... I don't get it, man. There are two options that I can I'm... go for. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to be able to see my options at a moment. One, two, three. Click. It's so hard. One, two, three. Click. I think that's my best option. Three. All right, and what is it again? It's a living house. house, right? Yep. A sentient house. Oh my god, it even looks like the fucking house from Final Fantasy. Uh, uh. Oh, like the house from Monster House. How do I house. get that again? I don't like this. Did the cards get reshuffled at some point? Not for a while. Okay, because I have a repeat card. There must just be, like, dupes in the deck. That's also possible. Uh... Okay, okay. Da 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 da. It's your d man, man, double D O double G Z. Nope. Y'all ever had dogs? Please, I've heard that song too many times. And kind food? Of like dog food? Dogs. Have you ever had dogs? Yes. Yes. We both have. Yes. You you saw yes, me post in the chat that my dog died. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. You'll oh. understand then. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. No, I do remember that, but. As we, we read from crook to cook. I think this is mine. No, 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 that one's mine. Welcome to my kitchen. I go first. Welcome to my kitchen. And I don't I'm like your sass, boy. <laughs> let's, uh... let's read the Snoop Dogg cookbook. Ooh. I don't want to read the Snoop Dogg cookbook. It's good. It's weed. It's just weed. Weed's it's not. Good. It's all actually good recipes. I know, but weed is good. I blame it on the fact that he's friends with, uh, have you, uh, I had uh, weed, yes, I've had how weed. How many weeds have you had? Not many, like... That's such a... <laughs> that's such a narc question to mm -hmm. ask. How many weeds have you had? Alright. <laughs> so... To beat this sentient house, okay. I have a really big dog. We're talking I see. Clifford, right? Look at the big red dog. That's right. I'm and sad that Adam's dead. Powered Who? by farts. You had dogs. You know what a dog fart is. It's Don't older dogs tend to die faster? Yes. Huh? Clifford big would have died in a couple of days. Yes. Larger animals die faster, usually, yes. yeah. Clifford would have died in a but couple of days. But that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
Because I can travel through time. My whole thing, right? Really big dog, powered by farts. Gonna go back in time to before you were built and stop you from being built. The only problem is... How does a dog stop me from being built? Your invention makes the monster grow like twice as big. Doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? How can a, how can Clifford prevent a building from being built? It can probably prevent it for a time, but if no, the no, gut no, no. if the it's stopping that house from being built. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna kill the, the most you can do is yeah. Yeah, uh, let's say I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna eat the wood. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck it all up. So you're Nothing going to kill done. yourself to try and stop me from being built. Oh, no, yeah. If you, if you don't exist, I don't have to fight you. I, all I'm saying is... But then construction... you won't go back in time to fight him. And then oh. it will exist, and then you will have to go back in time. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, listen, no. listen. If I went back in time to make it not exist, it doesn't exist to fight. All I'm saying here, here is... Constru if the government... Or if the, the, if the city wants something to be built, it will be built. It may be delayed, but it can be. it will still be built at a later point. Gotcha. I, I will I still understand be. Understand what you're saying. The circumstances that make your house sentient will not happen. Butterfly. That also effect. requires you to know what specifically caused its sentience. It doesn't really. I mean, it kind of does. I don't care if he makes another house. Sean, what's yours? Okay. Uh, this I sentient am... house will not exist. Uh, I'm a kangaroo with the backpack. Powered by the pilot's brainwaves, wielding a portal gun. See, Sean currently has more Is to going for him. Wood? He's gonna put portals on you? Woo! He, you, have you seen the end of Portal 2? Here's a hint. Yeah. It also deals with the moon. And even then, I have infinite uh, momentum. I can well, literally destroy the house. by your brain. So you're every living creature. Yes. But I also have the power of literally infinite moment. Uh, have you there's just the portal gun. Yes. One issue. My invention is made of Lego. Ah. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I will come. I will. I would like to point out Lego that Portal the Lego exists. Movie exists. Lego Portal exists. <laughs> It does exist. Oh my god. Yeah, but does it actually work? Yes. It's a game no. where uh, a oh, portal that. is made of Lego? I thought you meant like a Lego set for Portal. No, and it's a according game. According to canonicalness, uh, Legos live, breathe, and exist as well. They yeah. love, have children. Uh, they master builders. They have. <laughs> I thought they you were about. Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean, preventing you from existing. Sean, I thought you what? were about to say they masturbate. <laughs> they have so Will Ferrell. There is nothing you can say to stop me. I mean, I, I get he has the potential to defeat you. I have the potential to make you never exist. I honestly don't see how that doesn't outweigh that. I don't care if you're twice as big if you don't exist. See, I'm a fucking kaiju. Here's here's the thing, Wigan. You have the potential to make me not exist. Sean and has the, the definitive. Potential. Sean has no, the definitive it's ability. It's still potential. Yes, but my potential is greater because I Negative. can take care of you now instead of having to be a bitch and take care of you when you were weaker. It doesn't matter. Mine's a more... Uh, I guess yours is a more definitive end. Yeah. Yes. Yours is very yeah. much a hypothetical of, I can take care no. of him now, but he might still exist in the future. I don't know. But it won't be you. It would be a different house. That is true. Who's to say? Who's to say? House. Now hear me out. Hear me Wigan, out. we'll never Who's know unless say, time though, travel actually the exists. The house you took care of was actually a previous iteration, and the house you were supposed to fight was actually the house you caused to exist 
with your meddling. Don't because start time travel because shenanigans. That's, don't because st don't that's start, start talking about my invention. Wigan. Don't start talking time travel with Sean. Oh, time no, travel I, is bullshit, I, and I will argue the shit out of you about how stupid it is, and I hate it. And no, I will. I I get that, but it's I my like time travel. It's my time travel rules. You don't understand how stupid people are. They see a house randomly get destroyed by a dog. Oh, that's cursed. Fuck it. We'll build it again. We're see, America's. See, Fuck that dog. What I'm dealing again, with right here. It's the different house. What I'm dealing with right here is a hypothetical versus a definitive. I'm so confused. Again, they're both exactly, hypothetical. Because time travel there's is no, bad. They're still both hypothetical. It's how is Sean's a hypothetical? You, how does this work versus how does this work? I'm going based off. Still hypothetical. I am going based off of the game portal, which is the the canonical world of where the portal gun exists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In that and universe. Since I know okay, gun, and now here in that on this one. Since I'm made of Lego, just I am the portal gun is made of Legos. The kangaroo is made of Legos. No, we wait. We can we goddamn house is a lot more effective than a made of Legos. dog. The entire invention is made of Legos, including the kangaroo. You only need two yeah. shots. The kangaroo being made of Lego actually makes it better because instead of being flesh, it's really yeah, but all you have to do is fall down and then you're just pieces. I would like to mention. What if it's just one big Duplo Lego? Ah, uh, no. That's and actually, weird. the fact that I can fall to pieces makes me even more dangerous because of shrapnel. Yeah, but you don't. Ex you just can't do anything at that point. I gotta go I with Sean. I don't have to. The one shot is to, all I it's need. Wrong. It's the wrong answer. No, you need two shots. How so? One you hole doesn't do anything. You need a second hole. If I become shrapnel, that becomes a lot more than a single hole, Wigan. What? Your portal gun. You need two shots to do anything, and then at that point you need a third. No, 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 no. I won't shatter until I make contact with something. You're talking about using yourself as a weapon. The kangaroo. And Atomic. honestly... You, so you need a third shot. Like... Yes, I can you need portal above shots. and below me, and then portal directly aiming at the house. That's not that hard to do, even if you are falling in terminal velocity. Yeah, but all you have to do is clip the edge of one of them portals once, and you're just pieces. I'd like nothing. to mention Legos don't take fall damage. They don't. Yeah, but he can't. Ex he can't do anything once he's pieces. He can't shoot the gun again if it's in a bunch of. He pieces. doesn't need to. He shoots the moon, and I'm gone. What? You know, shoot a star. That does it too. Just shoot a star. Do you realize? You know the end of Portal Two, right, Wigan? Yeah, yeah. He but shoots he the moon. The goo up there. I'm just the gone. Not... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you're not. You're not defeated. You're just. If we were going based off if the goo is needed, then the portal gun would be completely useless to begin with. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, because it just... I can shoot the moon, which is very seldom out in midday. Though it is more than often here, but that's its own thing. I don't know. I still think you not existing beats having to actually fight you. But, but in your whatever. attempt to make it not exist, you probably make it better than ever. Which is no, probably that's why. That's not how it works. Just because you want to argue that. I'm just that saying time. You've not seen Invader Zim, Wigan. I'm just saying time travel is a bit more hypothetical and finicky than a definitive. No, it's not though, because I just said it wasn't. It's my invention. It's game my works. GameCube, it's my TV, it's my video game, it's my rules, Sean. Did Dakota come <laughs> over? <laughs> did Dakota ever come over? Yes, he did. You stayed for about an hour. Oh, wait, I don't know why I'm drawing, but whatever, I'll finish drawing. You can still draw, Wigan. Yeah. Yeah, he just came over to show off his girlfriend to us. Did she actually exist? Yeah.
did they go to another school? Was she from Canada? No, apparently she's from some place called Robbinsville. Yeah, whatever that. Le place okay, is. I might ask oh, yeah, you a question. The... What okay. did he look like? He belonged with her, or did he? She look like she was kidnapped. Um. It. She looked. They looked like a stereotypical southern couple, if that means anything. Yep. Sure do. Anyway, uh, the monster is a legally distinct electric yellow mouse. So I'm going to give this Garrett's one to you. Now, not here to argue this, but it is in fact a fucking mouse. Sean, I'm going to give this one to you since you have a, such a sheer hatred of the Pokemon. I love that one of them is just a goldfish with the nuclear codes. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the other monster. It's just a goldfish with nuclear codes. Which, honestly, is still just a goldfish. Stop, goldfish. There's, it's still just a goldfish. It's a goldfish with nuclear just... Yeah, it's still just a goldfish. <laughs> There's nothing to it. It's still just a goldfish. At least now I have Pikachu. Doesn't have like or a really oh. distinct oh. Pikachu. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got this. Uh, have, like, a ground real... attacks are super effective. Just so you know. Mine Why is also. Mine is also effective. Why I'm would you tell? Me ground I would argue that mine against... is. Definitely effective mm. for a multitude of reasons. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna throw out that two of my power sources are literally the same thing. Power runs on pure belief and powered by praying to blank. You cannot praying tell me those the are potato. not the same thing. Praying, praying to the potato, yes. God, Jesus, Franklin. Okay, go ahead, Sean. Okay. Alright. So. You're about to get kachowed because this boy is the car from Cars. Oh, Lightning bitch. McQueen up in this shit. And I mean, wow. That mouse doesn't stand a chance. The car wow. Cars. <laughs> and. Yeah, I know. You could probably electrocute him. But A. Cars run on electricity. That bitch has volts absorbed. Second of all, large rock wheels, bitch. <laughs> rock doesn't resist electricity, though, child. does it? Most rocks are rock ground, but also the fact that he's a car runs on electricity, you know, all that shit. But yeah, but your rubber wheels would have. He done runs better. on gasoline. Actually, it's the car from Cars. No, he runs on the ground, Hunter. Duh. Sean, it's the car from Cars. We never confirmed that they actually required like. Inner, like electricity or anything. They literally well, they drink no, they gasoline, need electricity. Dude. They also still... they also ate sushi. Yeah, they did. Vehicles though, like they need electricity. And they have tons. You Matt Pat has eating, determined they were bugs. They are bugs. Yeah, yes. If you want to believe that garbage. I like Matt Pat. But you. his weapon. No, I do too. Is a it's robot a arm dumb... holding a club, so he can further beat the shit out of that shitty ass mouse. So you're you oh so the car from cars you're Mater. I'm hey, Lightning Mater. McQueen first of all. No, you're Mater. Because your robot arm is Life on TV no beating the shit out of a mouse. This is just the Piston Five Hundred. You're alive on TV. <laughs> okay. The Piston Cup. Okay, so even better, I can run over that goddamn mouse in HD and not feel a lick of guilt. Okay, here here's mine. Yeah. It's a pogo mm -hmm. stick, mm -hmm. powered by magnets. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially a fucking rail gun at that point. I was about to say it's a fucking rail gun. But it's also a baby ray that turns turns things into babies. It turns it into Pichu. Can you, can you flip that? A slightly what worse? Thank you, <laughs> Pichu. Baby ray turns things into babies. Oh, so it does. It. And you know who's Pichu's worst enemy is? Himself. Himself. Alright, now what's your weakness? 
<laughs> Your invention has hundreds of balloons strapped to it, and it's slowly floating. Like no, because Ooh. because well, of hey, how hey, the magnet hey, thing hey, works, hey, hey, it hey. actually attached Pikachu to it, and it is now floating into space. Pikachu's <laughs> not magnetic. Electromagnet. But uh, once I hit the stratosphere, those balloons Pikachu. going gone. That pogo stick gonna plummet back to Earth. I was, I was about to say, you're still a rail gun. So... I All I need is one shot. But, and now hear me out, a car. You know how many shots a car has? A lot. Yeah. You know why? Because they're like 300 laps in that race. But you know what mine does? Mine turns it into a baby. That thing's gonna be stuck electrocuting itself for years. Until it finally finds someone that decides it's worthy enough to evolve again. Question of, why are there Pikachu in the wild, though? Because it's a wild Pokemon. What? No, well, it's a, it's a legal and distinct electric mouse, to be fair. It's not Pikachu. It's Pikachu, but it's not. You know. it's, not it's a bootleg Pikachu. It's the one you find in the swap meet. That's also a rat exactly. that they drew. That's that actually is, a That awesome. is absolutely a Louisiana Pikachu right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. That's a, that's definitely that's a possum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, rat, it's a possum. It like is, opossum. It really is. Look at it. It's a fucking possum. Possums um, are adorable, though. No, they're not. But a car. You know what a possum's greatest yeah. enemy is? We've just turned him into a possum. <laughs> Getting run over by cars. You know why? They see a car coming, they play dead. They play dead in the middle of the road. The car runs them over. They go from playing dead to being dead. Wait, let me see something real quick. Oh, the, are you... Are you, are you I think Wigan's having a mental breakdown. I can play that. To kick your fucking ass. Man, you know, his name is Kyle Gas. Rocking and fucking rolling. Rolling and fucking, fucking rocking, rocking and fucking. Rolling. I'm lost. I can play that. Okay, Wigan. Wigan. Sorry, I got lost on the deep. Can can I mention can I mention something? Yeah, I'm listening. You just what did. what's faster? A car going 40, 60 miles per hour, or a pogo... easily going 100 miles an hour. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, do you know how fast a railgun goes? Three kilo kilometers per second. Mm. That's a lot of seconds. That's a lot of yes, seconds. Yes, but... The difference is... It's also a Pichu now, in his scenario. I am about to shoot a baby. Man, I gotta give it to shooting a baby. If you're doing it on live TV, he's just killing a baby. On, but not on live TV, you're, so it's not as entertaining. <laughs> no, I like to. Okay, I like to think these two you events both are. both win, but he's killing a baby. I like to think these two events are happening at the same time. So you just see, like, uh, you just see Lightning McQueen At this point, over there. We're both guaranteed to murder this shitty ass mouse. No, we're... which is more overkill? No, we're no, both turning it into a baby and hitting it with a railgun pogo. Stick. So all you see is Lightning McQueen over there with like his but camera crew. And... Lightning McQueen kachowing that mouse and then stopping and hitting it some more with this random arm popping out of it, literally beating a dead horse. Yeah. Okay, or just but one-shotting it with a rail gun. What you yeah, see? Yeah, you're. He's turning it into paste in a single shot, and then bouncing on it. Well, you. I again. I'd like to point out. I think these two events are happening at the same time. It's a competition. You just see Lightning and Queen over there with his like entourage, his camera yes, crew, I'm and all that. I'm it in front of the world. Yeah, I know. So and in the background it. of the camera, that alone is its own level of brutality. In the background of the camera, you yeah, just but... see the Poco stick <laughs> just slam down. Just hit the Pichu. <laughs> it's like Lightning Queen. It's... No, they don't even see the Pichu. They just see the dust settle and there's nothing left. It's oh, like... there would be, it would be pink dust. It's Lightning McQueen there. getting ready to like do his run up. And he's like, okay, we're going to take this thing down. We're going to do no, it. Now that I think about 
Okay, hear me out on this, though. That also requires that the balloons are somehow strong enough to actually resist the electromagnetism, which that in itself lowers the accuracy of the pogo stick itself. Because really? if because if the electromagnetism isn't strong enough to overpower balloons, it's not going to be able to actually what? home in on the Pichu. Wait. What is this but actual? It's just lifting the railgun up. It's not like fighting Unless against... the Pichu is coming with it, in which case there's no way it'll avoid it. But it's just the... it's a So it's a ray gun and then rail. a rail gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. even worse if it brings the Pichu with me. It's just... But it's <laughs> not... There's no like... There's no like... I mean, sure, it's floating by balloons, so it's a little bit harder to aim, but it's not like the balloons are going to be fucking with the electromagnet. No, 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 it's not that the balloons are going to be fucking with them, it's that if the balloons are somehow strong enough to lift it despite the electromagnetism, yeah, the electromagnetism that, isn't that gonna, strong. Yeah, yeah, no, but a balloon's going to be able to do that regardless. It, and, I mean, if Is it's it just some balloons, then it's not going, I mean... They're not, it's not, so by the card itself, it says that it is lifting it and pulling it slowly away. So they are strong enough to lift the magnet. That just means it's a fucking hot air balloon. Right? Because it's just a balloon that can lift a heavy weight. I There's imagine that they're pulling, that the like, magnet up where it's just a ton of tiny balloons. I would like to of one Regardless, it's the, same, it's the same concept, though. It's I'd like not, to like the magnet and the balloon are not going to be interacting with each other in a physical way at all, other than that it's lifting it. I'd like to mention I'm not going to win it's next not like round. It's... You're right because you're not here. Yeah, you're oh. the monster. No, 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 no. No, I'm the monster. Yeah, huh. yeah I'm not going to win next round, but I just want to play a combination. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh my God. You know what? In solidarity, I'm going to play my ri most ridiculous thing as well. Oh, no, mine's not ridiculous. Mine is just called Sat it's, uh, Saturdays are for the boys. Or Saturdays. No, Saturdays are for dads. Sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Saturdays dad. are for dads. They are. And dads car. They used to be, anyway, except I, I work on Saturdays. I wish I had fucking Saturdays. Because I would, I would do the whole, like, Saturday, like, wake up early and like cook like eggs and bacon and toast and like i'd do the whole like i'd make a bomb ass breakfast and then y'all gotta leave me alone for the rest of the day so your of options to fight are split mushroom which by the way i'm not choosing <laughs> or oh, what we're actually go? going with <laughs> tap dancing centipede a tap dancing an enormous centipede wearing a hat and a, a hundred tap shoes. Tap dancing centipede, go! Uh, tap dancing centipede, just tap dance. Alright, so this is my base. Keep out style on y'all. Be prepared. You're about to get 50s, man. It doesn't get much better than this. All right. Best weapon I got. And I'm going to say for the sake of Best power so we I don't got. bullshit. I'm going to say it's about the size of a bus. Like a school bus. Okay. You heard that this time? E. School bus. Because you missed the moon-sized giraffe. <laughs> yeah, the moon-sized right. giraffe is pretty funny. I like to I'm, think that was I'm ready. Bad. All right. All right, Honor, go first. Got a lawnmower. I see. Pulled by an old wizard. That's the dad. I see. And for lunch, a haunch fan. That's a just that's just nice Saturday right there. That is a nice Saturday. I mean, dad has narcolepsy. <laughs> the wizard has narcolepsy. <laughs> yep. Powered by an old wizard. That has narcolepsy. Ham. This is just Sean in 40 years. So your lawnmower yes. just falls asleep. No. 
it says the pilot. It doesn't say the base. Since it's powered oh, by that's the true, wizard, that's true. It's we're going to assume by. that the wizard is the pilot. I died. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm so dumb. And since it's a wizard, I'm assuming we're in sort of a fantasy world, so a tap dancing, tan dancing centipede isn't all that abnormal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, in a world where there's a tap dancing centipede, uh, wizard yeah, should be. I, yeah. In so, a world here we go. where there is a tap dancing My centipede. My invention is a giant underpants. I see. Powered by a jet engine. Wielding, uh, it, it can launch an angry goose. Oh shit, we talking goose game. Goose game. I don't know if you've seen a goose before. They fuck shit up. Honk. I'm so glad human hands were built specifically to grasp a goose's oh, neck. Oh man, uh, there's a giant skeleton in the underpants. Man, I've heard of ripping one out. Is but this, this is ridiculous. Did somebody f ever let Spencer out of those pants? Who? I'm assuming this is an iCarly joke. This is an iCarly joke. There was an episode where he made giant fucking pants. I see. I was also going to make a joke about Captain Underpants that uh, has died and never made it out of the pants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that raises the Except question they're about... they're literally a giant's underpants. So that okay. raises the question of what is more powerful, a sleepy wizard or a goose? The goose. Well, it's also giant underpants with a jet engine. It's also so, a wizard with a it's lawnmower. It's magic quick. And ham. That ham's important. A haunch of ham. The time. ham is the distraction. While the wizard takes a nap on his lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, and then, you, <laughs> and then you try and run the bug over with your lawnmower. Which is honestly what I do when I'm cutting the grass. If I see, like, some shit that I'm like, ooh, this I don't like This is also a bus-sized centipede. I was actually attacked by bees while mowing a lawn once. I didn't get oh, stunned God. somehow, but it still sucked. This is also a... Uh... like you were attacked then. I literally ran over their hive, and they're like, they, they, they like, grabbed my leg and shit, and I ran inside and haven't mowed a lawn since. You haven't mowed a lawn since, ever since that fateful day. That was, like, over seven years ago, buddy. Dang. Why did Linz's, uh, sister shave a cat? Uh, it funny. needed a part of it shaved for something, and she just shaved all of it. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, geese, be it geese Howard, uh, does or the, just you know, does the cat untitled grow, geese? Does the cat? Yeah, grow those black fuckers are dangerous. Hair? You don't fuck with them. Does the cat grow black <laughs> hair in the spots where the skin is black? Yeah, it's just like a tiger, dude. I didn't know. I I, I don't tiger really pay. Tiger stripes are its skin color. I didn't know that. I just thought it was like all yeah. one tone underneath. No, as much yeah, as the wizard is threatening, striped. I'm gonna have to choose the goose. Alright. Yeah, I would choose the goose too. I just wanted to do Saturdays are for the dads. Saturdays? Oh, I get it. And I, I went with an underpants that shot a goose. And dads. Oh. As I said, I went with. Of course, that goose. For yeah, she's in underwear. Because I, I also had. Uh. Spring-loaded knives and a net launcher. I mean, I could have had a lawnmower riding I, on giant hairy spider legs. I also legs. had uh, a combustible yeah. engine and uh, rolling dice. dice rolling, or a powered. giant origami bird, or a massive shell. So nobody had anything good outside of angry goose and wizard. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one up to a consensus. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. You broke your trust. Sixty foot baby, you're rude, Gandhi. 
Rude Gandhi. Easy. I think Rude Gandhi. Dude, he threatens you with nukes. That's pretty dangerous. Rude Gandhi. Yeah, nukes are pretty dangerous. I just me? have a card that says powered by the strength of Mark Zuckerberg's bank balance. <laughs> and that's Stop a pretty it. big bank. I'm not gonna use it, but I just love the bullshit that is rides on a goblin who is riding another goblin. I like to think it's like one of those that's two very goblin. I like to think it's like one of those scenarios where two kids will ride on their shoulders with a trench coat to try and get into an adult movie. I never did that. I Didn't mean, I, I think that was a I cartoon thing. In. Oh, definitely. Honestly, this enemy shall only make my thing stronger. Oh, gosh. Poor Gandhi. Right. So, rude Gandhi... Ooh, it's hard to be upset at that. I just have pictures of Gandhi up, and I'm like, yeah, that looks like him. Fighting a Gandhi that's rude will only make my what was Gandhi thing stronger. against again? What was this? The Brits. Thing? The, yeah, the British. The Gandhi British. was an Indian lawyer. He was trying to convince the Brits and that India was, you know, their own thing and not. Anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist. Yeah, that guy. He he lived the successful campaign for in India's independence. He also apparently slept in a room with like a bunch of little boys to prove that he had self-control or something like that. Wait a minute. Did he fuck a bunch of kids and got away with it? Probably. <laughs> No, don't be rude to Gandhi. Sounds like you just said. Don't be rude to Gandhi. <laughs> uh, Gandhi's being rude first. Oh my god, it's fucking almost two a.m. Or not almost, but it's one thirty. Approaching two a.m. <laughs> I'm I'm so I'm so done with this game. I'm just, I'm just gonna look up cheat codes. There's no cheat codes. Uh, Damn. Okay, I guess. I'm still sober. That's sad. Uh... uh. I mean, that's... That's interesting. It's a soul... It's, it's a... It's a Souls-like uh. game. You really expect there to be an easy way out? Yes. No. Are you still fighting Ninth Sister? Yes. I mean, all I, I can say is go grind this, and get some new skills or whatever. I have made uh, quite the most ridiculous agreed thing here. All right, so I'm gonna start, right? Yep. So we got Rude Gandhi, right? We're trying to beat Rude Gandhi. Yep. How do we beat Rude Gandhi? The power of of kindness and happiness and friendship. We've got a merry-go-round. Gandhi is very. Gandhi is very. Rude on a merry-go-round. Gandhi is very motion sick. You know what? Powered by a huge wheel, a huge hamster wheel full of hamsters. Gandhi. Those hamsters now have cholera because they're in India. So fucking cute. Gandhi right? is against Not animal only labor. A happy, happy merry-go-round. It's powered by a bunch of adorable hamsters. Just are those a ham have cholera? Gandhi wants to know if those middle. hamsters are there of their own free will or if they were stolen and put there. Irrelevant. Well, Gandhi is a very Pretty peaceful irrelevant. man. Irrelevant. It's not there irrelevant. Are also, you know the music that plays on America go round. We got it's hard to be rude when there are speakers way that are way too loud. <laughs> the speakers are way too loud. So you just ruined Gandhi's whole experience. You, you ruined his whole no, day. No, 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 no. It's a beautiful experience. We got him on there. We got the hamsters. He's All like, he... So he got on the merry-go-round, and he went, oh, my God, I love this. And he went, wait, wait, there's hamsters running this? 
I can't believe this. Oh my god, the music is so loud. I'm killing him. I got him in via. By the way, he died in 1945 now. to a gunshot. I thought it was 48. Yeah, he's a little bitch. Uh, my invention has a tour group on board. Even better. We are Which annoying group? Gandhi to death. That is Which the group? power of my ride. Gandhi died in 48. Yeah, oh, okay. It doesn't matter. He's dying on my merry-go-round instead. So, you know what's more effective than killing Gandhi than a uh, merry-go-round? A car. Sean mm. is I mean, what is a merry-go-round 90... but a car that just... Why have Sean, car? like, f most or, like, 90% of Sean's inventions involved running over? Bus. Sean's... Most of Sean's <laughs> cards have involved running over. <laughs> you know what? Gandhi being rude to it, that'll only make it stronger. You know why? It runs on sadness. All right. <laughs> and honestly, its weapon is just steel spaghetti. Kind of a throwaway, but steel spaghetti. Is that his stand? Steel spaghetti. Strands right. of steel spaghetti. And there's just one issue. Your pilot is due to appear on a. Oh man, that makes it even better because. He ain't gonna deal with Gandhi shit. He's just gonna run him over and go away. Or you just leave. <laughs> and Gandhi just so happens to be in the way. He could just, just pissing you off and you're like, you know what? I'm leaving. And you just leave. Or I don't see what yet. I don't see what part of yours will kill Gandhi. Me? The car! No, Wiggins. What? It's annoying oh. him to death. Well, I, I did say, can I you be annoyed right. to death? Yes. I mean, heart attacks exist. He's going to get Dang. on the merry-go-round. He's already perturbed because he's rude, right? Then he's going to be like, what the fuck? There's hamsters on here? I can't believe it. These hamsters are being mistreated. And then the speakers will be way too loud. He's like, I can't... I can't think about the hamsters. The speakers are too loud. And then there's going to be a tour group that's, like, really cheesy. Like, you know, this was really shitty tour groups that are, like... Wigan, I'm like going to give you a second chance. Give me some good cards. No. <laughs> no, I had... I had a, a fucking baby ray. It shoots babies. I also had... I could, Wait, you know, there are, like, three cards that are called the baby ray. And they all have separate... Different. They all have different... Parentheses. I also could have had mine pushed by the rock or powered oh, by sorry. blank. It could have been a supermarket trolley or a fridge full of cheese. I didn't have this. I did my best. Hey, no a way. supermarket trolley can also run over Gandhi. You know what? So can a merry-go-round. Not really. They are very they stationary. Can't. No, they're not. They they spin. You could get trapped under one. You can get run over by a You have to be really stupid to get trapped under a carousel. You know Gandhi got shot. How stupid you gotta be to get shot? I mean... Not, not really very. Stupid. Anyone can hey. get shot. I haven't been shot yet. And I'm dumb as hell. I'm not gonna respond to that because I don't right wanna... That right there? That right there? That's a deadly further. combo right there. What is... Uh, a, a shopping trolley pushed by the rock that uh, can grow to any size. No, no, that no, is it pretty keeps deadly. The same weight, though. It yes. keeps the same weight. Yes. You didn't read. It doesn't do anything. Wigan, calm down. I'm just telling you, there was not. That's not a winning combo. But it's still imagine just a shopping trolley being pushed by the rock. Imagine this, Wigan. Getting hit by a car, or getting hit by a car, but bigger. At Who's more dangerous? Weight, it doesn't matter. If it's bigger, then it doesn't hurt as much. If it weighs the same, you understand how that works? That's why you make We're it... We're also going by the square cube rule to where it would, in fact, weigh more. No, it, no. it did say it Literally weighed the same. Hard, but that they, that they weighed the same. But if we're going based off those rules, you can make it small enough that it could collapse. Uh, it could uh, collapse into a black hole. I w yeah, I was about to say you could also just make it really tiny and have him just chunk it right into 
Or just, you could just, just make it into like if the bullet flung like It's literally this, a bullet, yeah. Yeah, the rock flicked it like a bullet. Just like out of you hawk show. Again. I never said I was winning this one. I said I was going with my most ridiculous card combination, and I did that. Shrek is disappointed in you. He's hovering his banana in anger. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> Just get out of my swamp. <laughs> so I, I did find cheat codes for the game. Heart cheats? What? Did they, did they tell you to get the double lightsaber? Uh, I already have that, but I did find cheat codes for the game. Only works awesome. on PC though. Oh, uh, yeah. There's the one extra red card missing. Is it one of the ones that I have over here? I don't know. This one or this one? Oh, you know what? Somebody may have pulled an extra red card and thrown it in the discard instead of putting it back. Ah. Anyway. I mean, it's fine because 28 isn't divisible by 3. Oh my god. Okay, gotta play this one. So, I had the blob, right? Not playing that. Uh, given the... There were no black red card... Wait, no, there's... Things that have happened here, right? Uh, can you unlock Shrek for me, please? No. Why would ah, you ruin it? Uh, this is your monster. That's not how the game game. works. Yes, it is quite literally how the game works. It is that ogre from that swamp. Why did you ruin it? Give me. You can go back when this round is over. He he could be there in spirit. He can go back when the round is. He's an ogre. The ogre. Uh, why can't I copy him? Save object. Save. Shrek is freaking out, man. He's freaking out. <laughs> what have we done? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I am. Wigan, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Think. I see it. Oh, I'm not allowed to place objects. I get it. <coughs> Can we lose? Think. Let's just leave it like that. Think. <laughs> By the way, I'm here too. See? This right here? That's me. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> allowed to place objects, so. Anyway. Sure. Did Don't touch Shrek. Say, Do not. Nobody is allowed object? to touch Shrek. Dang. <laughs> he just Shrek. ripped the pick of Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Why at me? <laughs> Oh, you threw it away again. No, you didn't throw it away. You made it baby. You shall be punished for your transgression. Tishan, you want to go? Oh, God. That wasn't him, by the way. <laughs> All right, I, I mean, I've already set my shit down. I don't know so. what happened to Shrek, but I like it. I mean, I just wanted him to be there to be the placement for the car. Well, now he's now everywhere. Enough, so. We have we have ascended him. 
This has been a fun Sean. game. Sean. That's okay. This, I'll make him baby. Sean. What? Can we? I'm. Can you read your damn cards? You read first. No. Oh wait, no, I do, do read first. Don't forget this. Okay. Uh, I am a drill machine. Okay. My power source is uh, complicated magic runes. You don't know what those magic runes are. I don't know what those magic runes are. They could be just a million sigils of uh uh. uh but I'm an ogre. Spell? Get out word, of me, Word swamp. of explosion. He couldn't take out a dragon. He can't take out a drill. You know what he had to do to take out a wall? He had to get a giant fucking uh, titan cookie. Get out man. of me, swamp. And you know what else? It has two giant bear claws. Like, I'm talking bigger than Shrek himself. You, you know what Shrek can take out? A couple guards. That's about it. You know what he can't take it's out? The donuts. What? Bear claws, you know the donuts, the pastries. That's we don't we have get. that. We have duck donuts. What? Uh, I like bear claws better. No bear, bear, bear claws, claws are a type of pastry. Yes. Oh. The I'm also, referring to the actual. Also, claws duck donuts is not a brand. I'm, or is I'm not. I'm pretty sure you have oh. pastries. I've Funny. seen them at Ingles. They exist. Even better. Power. He's piloted a by a murder AI. AI. How is that a malfunction? How would that ever, for any single invention ever, <laughs> be a fault? I think I win. You'll be. You'll. You'll have to just yeah. see now, won't you? Yeah, you will. I'm listening. Please a portable toilet. Down. Oh shit! Okay. I'm listening. Yes, quite it's, literally. It's Shrek's porta potty. Powered by. Pulled by giant chickens. Oh I God. see. So chocobos. A With weaponized toilet. chickens. Pulled by chicken. <laughs> by weaponized giant chickens. It's so chocobos. And it's full of snake. It's a porta potty full of snakes. Pulled by chickens. Weaponized giant chickens. Versus the chocobos. A drill machine. Powered by some lines. Mer runes. Donuts. Runes and giant bears. Giant bear claws. Not the fucking pastry, Wigan. <laughs> oh, my stream is Actual insane. Actual bear claws. I like, to think, I like to think it's the pastry. Yeah, Wigan does too, but that's not what it is. I, not they're the really pastry. good. Can someone, oh, sure. can someone just look at my stream real quick and just see the insanity that is occurring? I will look at it. Yeah. Uh, Drek is humping your screen. Who you're actually seeing right now. You know you can refresh the stream, right? Yeah, that's what I did. I have five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drek is humping is. your screen. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like goblins. Aww. Is Shrek infinitely falling? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how we accomplished this, but I'm glad we did. This oh, is what God. we have to fight. Oh, there it is. There's a lighthead in this. That means it's working. Drink more. Um. <laughs> Shrek is glitching out of the matrix. Shrek is glitch. Shrek is life. I'm. <sighs> Shrek is glitch. Shrek is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to the the poor potty full of snakes. Are you serious? I'm thinking of Shrek, right? Shrek's a man who needs to use the bathroom, right? He's going. To you know be what everyone's biggest fear is as a kid. You know what everybody. You know what everybody has been afraid of when they were a kid. Something crawling Full up out of the snake. toilet. Yeah. I have been cheated. Yeah, we're not. You're not the only one. <laughs> we did. You're not the only one. Yeah. 
How did it get to this? <laughs> they just rolling back the two hours. In oh the no, we're gonna accidentally disconnect. <laughs> oh no, no, no! It says I've been kicked. Had I, I still been streaming, about. I would have evidence of this. Oh, were you not streaming still? No, I, I literally just ended my stream about two minutes ago. Uh, I see on my end, uh, Croy Wigan is kicked. Yeah. Oh, are we done for the evening? I'm still playing. I just... I'm done streaming. Well, now you're done playing. <laughs> yeah, because I got kicked by someone... Who has Whoever an issue could with been. playing games and getting salty over very valid mechanics <laughs> and then takes them out on people. Dang, I wonder who that was. I have I no idea. Who that is too, man. Was it you randomly falling, Shrek? Could it have been you? Uh, God, has cho know, God has chosen who he l wishes to survive. And it sure as shit isn't you. No, it's Shrek. I win by default. No, no, guys, guys, guys. No one. No, no. I, you I just win. look at the I final win. screen on my stream. Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> this is the, this is the last thing you see before death. You asked a question earlier, and I said it a dark answer to it. I don't remember what your question was. Who? Oh, if you had, if if, if what would you do with the favor that God? <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, take away, like, my, uh, I mean, this is not that dark, it's kind of like a, like, I, I suffer from quite a bit of depression and anxiety. If I had a favor from God, I would ask him to remove that. If I had a favor from God, I would, uh, I would make, uh, like, okay, so... I would I'll make him... That's a very selfish answer. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh. No, I would, uh... Give him, or make him give me the ability to be average in everything I do. Oh, you'll be a jack-of-all-trades, but master of I'm already no. average in everything. Average, like, in everything I do. Yeah, no, that would make you probably I, the most skilled person. If I planet. jump off a cliff to fly, I'm average at flying. <laughs> You're just gliding. No doubt. If I, I want to cure cancer, argue. if I want to cure cancer, I, I'm average at I'm average at that. Yeah, but average at curing cancer is still not curing cancer because you need success. Like, okay, like, fine. Heat. I'll be successful at everything I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's. That's yeah, that a little different, because yeah, being average at everything is still the middle of everything, so you still need See, to... See, like, my, my thought that. process was a, uh, a different, entirely different scenario of question uh, that I got asked a while ago. I would honestly argue for just the ability to be able to exist on my own. So, like, have the tools I require... I will, I will be successful at everything I do. I jump off a cliff to fly. I fly. So just extreme luck. That's what luck it does not fix that luck. I'm successful at everything I do. If I want to be a successful or Twitch streamer, I have success at everything I do. No, what what if you have, you have to like turn your body oh, to start right. everything? Um, Potato's right. It, what you're asking for is probability manipulation. Yeah, it's it's essentially being incredibly lucky. Am I just like, am I am I just Jinx from Teen Titans, but the opposite? I don't. Know. Yeah. I don't know. What you're you're Domino from the MCU. Is that what Domino does? Yeah, I was, uh, the entire you thing is she's lucky. Jupiter Legacy or Jupiter's Legacy yet? I don't know what that is. It's a Netflix show based off of a comic of the same name. I've never heard of it. No, it's uh, it's in the same vein of um, the boys and, and um, 
The Boys, boys called... season two. It's the, the same. Boys. It's in the same idea of those, except tamed down a bit. I don't know if the comic is much more brutal, but Netflix uh, show is not very brutal. But it's in that same idea where, like, what if superheroes were like just dudes, kind of thing? And, oh. Uh... My stream is just me slowly rotating with the screen you have been kicked and Shrek in the background. It implies that idea, God, that Shrek is God and he has kicked me. Dang. I've always wanted to play D&D. &D. Dude, happened. it's so good. I want to, I want to make a campaign. Then do I, it. Yeah, it. Can, it. Tell you what, you Hunter, how about tomorrow we start talking in caps? How does that sound? In what? what? So, Would you... in count, yeah. you know, you roll on a D100 and that depend, and that determines what encounters you get. For example, anytime you roll a 69, you have a <laughs> wonderful encounter with our boy, Margle the Entertainer. A gray half-orc with a uh, true psych, but truth True sight, but only for what's underneath your clothing. Roll, roll for dick. Roll to determine penis size. That's what I was about to say. Roll for dick length. <laughs> Margle always has a. You have a. Uh, you roll a d12. Margle rolls a d100. His maximum or his normal length is 100, but it's just to determine how horny he is at that given point. Dang. Margle's actually a character that uh, is from a friend's D&D game from when I did actually play D&D because the first time I rolled an encounter, I rolled a 69 and they're like, holy shit, he's this the is chosen a fucking one. drug trip. It, it was a drug trip. I was literally Jesus and I met the fucking horniest man on the planet. Oh no, my screen is a drug trip. Oh, yeah. Yes, it what ended up happening was Margo, like, looked me up and down and was like, Hey, this kind of breath. And gave me a box and a mace that made people horny. To which I called the Margo's dick stick. Weird and it flex. has been a running joke forever, and I love it. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, I maxed yeah. my RuneScape account out with all level 99 skills the same day I lost my virginity. <laughs> it's RuneScape. I like to, I like to imagine that that was actually like the goal. Max out your RuneScape, then we'll talk virginity. Got it? <laughs> it's like those things it's like my mom would said she would buy me a or uh, buy me a PlayStation if I got 500 likes on this. I'll give you or I'll take your virginity if you get 99 skill level. <laughs> Imagine like that that uh that deal was no, struck it's very about weak to dark. What? It's very weak to dark. No, it's the other way around. Dark is weak to parry. Oh, big switch. Uh, yeah. Oh, steel. Steel works. Steel also is super effective against parry. Let's do the other way around, yes. You said the other way around. Fairy beats dark, steel beats fairy. Yep. Right? Yep. That's how it goes. Behemoth blade. Oh my god, you hit me like a fucking truck. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding I Bro, I play Pot of Greed to draw three additional cards from my deck. Except that's Excuse not me, do you, need, do you need me to explain it? Like, like three, like almost all those times in Yu-Gi-Oh? Do this, I need bro. to explain it to you? Bro. I draw I draw Pot of Greed to draw three additional cards from my deck, and I use that do to I play need... Pot of Greed to draw summon three additional cards from my deck. Yeah, that's right. Part. The idea for the character I had was his name was a uh, Phineas. Prepare to say his name. Die. Shit, you probably couldn't hear that. His name is Water Gargling Noises, uh, but you call but most people call him Gorg. He's a Kuotoa cleric. 
of Bibblethip, the Lost. And the joke is every time he says Bibblethip, he's going to add extra stuff to him. Uh, he is the Grand Inquisitor of God King Bibblethip, the Lost, and is searching for the, uh, the traitorous... <laughs> <laughs> Sean? There's some cats fighting in my alleyway. I see it. The table. No. As you enter the room, you spot a wooden scepter set upon a table. It matches the description of the finger of Azuth, the sacred relic that magnifies the power of any magic conjured near it by a hundredfold. The paladin. We need to destroy it. Make sure it's never used for evil again. The wizard. I agree. I cast fireball at the altar. There were some cats having a street fight outside my, my window. Fuck you, Kremlin. 800 D6 at a mat at a minimum of 800 and an average of 4,800. But yeah, his whole idea is he's he's a cleric who worships Fibbleth uh merciful God King Fibbleth the Lost of uh, the Wise God uh may praise be unto him because uh the the oh. there there was a traitor in his 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 um. Oh. And his tribe, uh, oh. a warlock, his name was something stupid, like Bob or whatever. Uh, he tried to collect money in order to usurp uh, Grand God King Fibblethip the Lost, the wise God praise be unto him. Uh, may he forever reign. Oh. I sent Are you, you okay a, there? I sent you an image, Sean. I see. There's two cats fighting outside my window. You've mentioned. Uh, they're probably trying to have sex. Get it That's on video hot. and you'll you'll get some sweet views on That's YouTube. That's hot right there, Hunter. I, I want that. You do? Cats outside trying to fuck outside your window? Yeah. What? I, get, I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. A group of Hopefully it's not my cat. A, gr a group of pandas is called an embarrassment. Yes, it is. That's that. amazing, and I love it. I just hope my cat's not trying oh, to Oh, Shrek is back cat. around. There God, there he is. <laughs> God. In all of his glory. God help us all. We need mercy from this. I see those gloves. I know who that bitch is. Who? Don't worry about it. Play three houses, bitch. <laughs> Sean. What? <laughs> so who said they would make a D&D &D campaign? <laughs> I want to. I have a book. I have the the Horde of the Dragon Queen. I just need a vessel to. Why am I still streaming? Play. Yeah, you're still streaming.